production assistance provided by Drew Casey, Mike Blum, and Stephen Gorgie. Engineer Jake Robinson, producer Mike Dodson, production supervisor Aaron Cummins, coordinating producers Brian Ficklestein and Mike Eby, and the executive producer is Howard Deneroff. Today's broadcast of the NCAA Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network has been sponsored by Wendy's, by Barbasol Shaving Cream, by Verizon, by Granger, by Cintas, and by NCAA.com. More exciting action coming up from Indianapolis. Our next broadcast will be Purdue and Utah State beginning at 2.35 p.m. Eastern. A reminder that you can listen to every tournament game via the free Varsity Network and NCAA March Madness apps or with TuneIn Premium and on Sirius XM. Online, you can find us at westwoodonesports.com and ncaa.com. And on any Alexa-enabled device, you can choose which game you want to listen to. Just say, open Westwood One Sports. Again, your final score, game one in Indy, Marquette 81, Colorado 77. Now for Ted Emmerich and Austin Crozier, I'm Brad Heller. Thank you for joining us. You've been listening to exclusive coverage of the 2024 Men's Basketball Championship on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. best analysis and coverage of the NCAA tournament. Tune into Sirius XM College Sports Radio. Oh, he bangs it home! From the title contenders to the Cinderella teams, we've got you covered through the national championship in Phoenix. We really don't know how teams are going to respond in March. It's all on Sirius XM College Sports Radio Channel 84, our Power 5 conference channels 371 through 375, and the all-new Sirius XM app. We're your ultimate pass on the field and in the stands. Sirius XM College Sports Radio, Channel 84. MLB Network Radio gets you ready for opening day with a tour of spring training. Baseball is back. Hear interviews with all-stars. This is Mike Trout. This is Bryce Harper. I'm Aaron Judge. This is Mookie Betts. And insight and analysis of all 30 teams. When I look at this rotation, I see it competing with some of the best rotations in baseball. Listen to your favorite team's preview show right now on the all-new SiriusXM app. Just search Spring Training. It's tournament 
time on Mad Dog Sports Radio. Lock into Channel 82 throughout the day for wall-to-wall tourney coverage. From live listenings to Westwood One's call. UConn has its fifth national championship. To instant reaction with you on the phones. The seeding this year has been a mitigated disaster. Mad Dog Sports Radio is your home for the upsets, the buzzer beaters, and non-stop NCAA tournament coverage. It's all on Channel 82 or anytime on the all-new Sirius XM app. Side for Westwood 1's exclusive coverage of the NCAA tournament. You to Game Bridge Fieldhouse in Indianapolis for exclusive second round coverage of the 2024 Men's Basketball Championship. Between the 8th seed, the Utah State Aggies, and the top seed in the Midwest region, the Purdue Boilermakers. Today's broadcast of the NCAA tournament on the Westwood One NCAA radio network is sponsored by Cintas, by Coles, by Renewal by Anderson, by CDW, by Progressive Insurance, and by NCAA.com. Hi, everybody. I'm Ted Emmerich, along with the 12-year NBA veteran and former All-Big East selection at Providence, Austin Crozier. Brad Heller will join us later from the Westwood One Broadcast Center. Uh, We can catch our breath just a little bit after our first game of the day. Marquette, the two-seed, advancing past Colorado, 81-77. That's in the south region, so Marquette to the Sweet 16. Here in the Midwest, the top seed, Purdue, the eight-seed, Utah State. Let's start with Purdue and we know their story. They certainly know their story. They hope their story is different. Well, step one was beating a 16 seed this year. They did that the other night against Grambling. They're hoping to prove that this team, as it's constructed, is far better. They've got Zach Eady in the middle, and they have the guards on the outside who can certainly light it up. Yeah, and and certainly the national narrative is this team has made an early exit three years in a row, not just last year as the number one seed, but I don't, and I they understand the questions that come along with that, and they answer them, but internally I don't think that they think that way. I, I really don't. When you talk to Edie, uh, you talk to Braden Smith, you don't get the, that sense uh, of panic or doom that maybe you have externally. Uh, this is, as you mentioned, I think they are a better team than last year. When you talk to Matt Painter, he acknowledged that they did have struggle scoring when it wasn't going through Edie. They have more play, playmakers, they have more three-point shooting, and, and for all the talk of last year's team I think this year's team is better they hope that they are more than the underachieving powerhouse that's the name the tag that has been slapped on them gunning for their first final four since 1980 Utah State on the other side the eight seed champions from the Mountain West Conference which had its best year ever for that league putting in a conference record six teams Utah State beat TCU in the late game here on Friday night 88-72 that game ended just before 1 a.m. on Saturday morning and with players like Darius Brown, Great Osibor, and their own seven-footer, Isaac Johnson, introducing himself to the nation. They appear to be a threat here. They are. I mean, this is a really, really good basketball team. Danny Sprinkle, the head coach, uh, he's been to the NCAA tournament three years in a row, the first two with Montana State. He gets his first win here at Utah State. Uh, He's very creative in what he does this is a very talented team. I mean, we saw Ian Martinez really play at a high level. You mentioned Isaac Johnson, the seven-footer, three-point shooter, could put it on the floor. Um, the narrative, 
when you play Purdue is just different. It is how do you guard Zach Eady, regardless of who the opponent is. That is the storyline. It was like Shaq in his prime. It doesn't matter who else is on the floor. How are you going to handle Shaquille O'Neal? And that is certainly uh, what Utah State has to fret about the most. But Utah State is a team we know is not going to quit. We saw Grambling State keep it to a single-digit game in that first half. And Utah State is far better team. Utah State just earned their first NCAA tournament win since 2001. It had been 23 years since they made it to the round of 32. They had lost 10 in a row. On one end, they have to deal with Zach Eady. Purdue's got to deal with Johnson, who made his presence felt against TCU. A career-high 19 points. He scored 12 in a row at one point in the second half. Yeah, I mean, anytime you have a seven-footer that can shoot it from the three-point line and put it on the floor, that's a very difficult difficult matchup, especially if Edie uh, somehow gets matched up against him. Uh, he'll, Edie will probably stay in the paint, which gives Johnson the ability to shoot the ball from the perimeter over smaller defenders. So, uh, two big bodies, two different ways of playing basketball. Up next, the lineups and the opening tip-off from the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. This is the Men's Basketball Tournament. Sirius XM is your home for all the madness of March. The ultimate upset has happened. Every buzzer beater and bracket buster. Long three for the win. Oh, as well as in-depth analysis before and after game. It is incredible how valuable every single possession is. Can be heard on Sirius XM College Sports Radio, Channel 84, and on the all-new Sirius XM app. Find out where to hear Westwood One's call of your school at SiriusXM.com slash sports. Great-looking uniforms are an expression of teamwork, confidence, and pride. Cintas can help make sure your team is dressed to perform their best every day. We offer workwear and apparel that's comfortable and durable with a modern fit. From work shirts and pants to polos and khakis to Oxfords or T-shirts. And it all comes with weekly laundry service and delivery right to you. To learn more, visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the workday. Finding quality candidates for your small business is no Little League game, but Indeed can help you cover all your hiring bases. Their all-in-one hiring platform has smart tools to help you attract, screen, and hire quality candidates. And they don't just help you hire faster. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites, according to a recent Indeed survey. Mix the hassle. Start hiring. Learn more at Indeed.com slash credit to expand your team today. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Need a little help? O'Reilly Auto Parts can help. Need advice? We've got advice. No matter what you need, we have thousands of professional parts people doing their part to make sure you have it. Exceptional customer service. Just one part that makes O'Reilly stand apart. The professional parts people. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. Purdue fans filling Gainbridge Fieldhouse here in Indianapolis. A short trip down I-65 from West Lafayette. Getting set for the second round matchup between Purdue, the top seed in the Midwest region, and the eight seed, Utah State. Time now for Austin Crozier's Keys to the Game, sponsored by the members of the National Association of Realtors. There's a lot to buying a home, negotiations, inspections, timelines. Realtors have the expertise to guide you through the process. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. Let's start with the Boilermakers. Well, Ted, I think everyone in America knows what the first key to the game is for the Purdue Boilermakers, and that is to play through Zach Eady. 7'4", 300 pounds, two-time Big Ten Player of the Year, and likely two-time Naismith National Player of the Year. 30 points and 20 rebounds in Game 1. Truly remarkable what he is capable of. Every time down the floor, he knows that he's going to get banged and beat up, and he continues to do it. The second key for the Boilermakers is put Put teams away when you are given the opportunity. I thought against Grambling State, they could have been up 20 points at halftime. Instead, they allowed Grambling to stick around, only down nine at the half. This Utah State is far better than Grambling. When there is that opportunity to put them away, do it. And for the Utah State Aggies, rebounding is going to be a huge key. They gave up 21 offensive rebounds to TCU in game one. Mind-boggling that they were still able to win that game. 
Purdue much better rebounding team. They're going to have to do a better job. And the second key, try and recreate the offensive magic from game one. 55% from the field, 42% from the three. Osibor, 13 points. Ian Martinez, 21. Just a fantastic game that they're going to have to carry over into round two. The regular season champs from the Mountain West, Utah State. The regular season champs from the Big Ten and Purdue. Let's check the starting lineup. Sponsored by Cintas. Work days are better when you partner with Cintas. Keep your team protected, prepared, and looking great. Visit Cintas.com and get ready for the work day. Purdue with a program record tying 30 wins on the year compared to just four losses. Matt Pater in his 19th season as the head coach. Point guard is Braden Smith. Six-foot sophomore, averaging seven and a half assists per game. That's fourth in the nation. Fletcher Lawyer, a 6'4 sophomore, averaging 10.5 points and two rebounds. Lance Jones, the grad transfer from Southern Illinois, averaging 12 points. Up front, Trey Kaufman Wren, first year starter, 6'9 sophomore, averaging six points and four boards. And Zach Eady, the back to back national player of the year, 7'4, 300 pound senior from Toronto, the nation's leading scorer at 24.5 points per game. He's third in the country at 12 rebounds per game. Utah State, 28 and 6 overall. Danny Sprinkle in his first year as the head coach, the Mountain West Coach of the Year, after leading Montana State to the NCAA tournament each of the last two seasons. His point guard was his point guard at Montana State last year. Darius Brown the second, sixth year senior from Pasadena, California, averaging 12 and a half points, four and a half rebounds, and six and a half assists. Ian Martinez coming off that 21 point night, 6'3 senior from Costa Rica, transfer from Maryland, averaging 13 and a half points. Richard freshman Mason Falslip from Benson, Utah, averaging 11 points. Great Osabor on the front line. Yes, that is his first name. G-R-E-A-T, 6'8", 250-pound junior from Bradford, England. And like Brown, a Montana State transfer who followed Sprinkle to Logan, Utah, averaging just under 18 points and nine rebounds. He's the Mountain West Player of the Year. And Isaac Johnson, the seven-foot redshirt sophomore in the middle from American Fork, Utah, the Oregon transfer. Transfer averaging six and a half points, but he had a career high 19 in the first round win over TCU. Well, there is no problem today for Purdue fans finding their seats like there was in the first half Friday night against Grambling when the space between the early session and the evening session was squeezed. Yeah, a lot of unhappy Purdue fans. It didn't get into the game until there was about 10 minutes on the clock, but what an advantage. And that's what you get when you're the number one seed. You get to stay in your region. You get to stay close to home. Only a 90-mile trip for Purdue to get down here, and the building is packed with black and – is it old gold? Yeah, that's what they prefer. Black they and old gold. Old gold. It looks the same as Colorado's gold, <laughs> but we'll go with black and old gold for Purdue. Uh, and that is a huge advantage for them here. Everyone on their feet in their Purdue gear. Shooting to our left, navy blue jerseys, silver numbers, Asabor, sachets past Edie. Corner three for Martinez is off target. Loose ball head of the key. Oh, Edie sliding, trying to come up with the rebound, and it's a tie-up as Isaac Johnson, Utah State seven-footer, was there to put his hands on it as well. Well, well Edie fell on Johnson. I would not wish that on my worst enemy. Johnson able to get up relatively unscathed. Utah State ball with the alternating possession. Purdue white jerseys, black numbers, and old gold trim. Brown out front against Lance Jones. Curves to his right, finds Osibor, low post left, knocked out of his hands by Smith. And across the baseline, nine to shoot. Utah State still with the ball. And, and listen, for all of these guys that play against Edie for the first time, the reaction is it's 
it's unfathomable how big he is. You know, if you play against someone seven foot seven one, that's one story. But at seven four three hundred, it is shocking how big he is. Johnson misses a right corner three for Utah State. Smith plucks it for Purdue on the trot far side, left to right for the Boilermakers. Bounce it to Trey Kaufman, Ren banging against Johnson up with the right, and he's fouled. And Johnson has the incredulous look on his face, but first personal. And Johnson picks up the first front court foul for the Aggies, not even guarding Edie, but guarding Wren. And that is a storyline really for every opponent that plays against Purdue is staying out of foul trouble in that front court. And something to keep an eye on is Wren is the first free throw. Yeah, Trey Kaufman Wren, the sophomore from Sellersburg, Indiana, about 100 miles south of here. Just a 58% foul shooter. Couple of dribbles, second free throw on the way, and in and out. So we are still scoreless. We played 55 seconds. Brown walks it up against the shadow of Lance Jones, turns his back, now faces forward, whips it to Great Osibor, one dribble with the left, over to Johnson, right wing, back to Osibor, cutting, and he throws it down with the right hand. Little give and go, Utah State up 2-0. And I think that that's probably the plan for Purdue, is to not have Edie rotate all the way out to Johnson at the three-point line, but stay down low, and just a little bit of a miscommunication. That painter told us he doesn't want Edie out on the perimeter against Johnson. Smith dives into the paint. Brown is lurking, 10 to shoot. Smith fires it out, tipped by false lead. And oh, our producer, Mike Dodson, has it. Just to my right. Great hands, Mike. Well done. Mike, you're supposed to pass it to me. I'm the shooter. <laughs> <laughs> Steady. Gave it to Fletcher Lawyer, who inbounds it. Six to shoot for Purdue. Smith, top of the arc. Osibor on the show. Smith cut off. Bounce pass down low. Out of bounds. And Utah State ball. So an uneven start here for Purdue. Utah State is just a, a steady team. You know, they're, they're solid, really, at every position. Danny Sprinkle is a fantastic young coach that you are going to be seeing and hearing a lot of in the future, I believe. And again, I think you're going to see Isaac Johnson a lot more playing from the perimeter, forcing the bigs for the Boilermakers away from the basket. There's actually a let's go Aggies chant going on here in Indianapolis, even with all the Purdue fans present. False left chisels past Fletcher Lawyer, and he scoops it in with the right hand. And that was able to happen because Isaac Johnson popped to the three-point line. Edie came out on him, which now pulls him away from the basket as a shot blocker. 4 nothing. Aggies lead. Two minutes gone by. Edie across the post to Trey Kaufman-Wren, and he scores on the right side. Purdue down 4-2. Always interesting to see how teams play Edie. They elected to double team with the opposite big. Brown then was supposed to drop and rotate onto the strong side big. It was just a little late. Osibor misses a layup from the left. Edie clears it ahead to Smith. To Jones. Transition three left wing. In and out. And Brown secures it. Aggies right to left. Ahead to Osibor against Edie. He muscles it home from the left. 6-2 to two, Utah State. I, I think there's a point, even at 6-8 with Osibor, you can't go away from who you are as a basketball player. Osibor wants to attack, get into the paint, and finish strong. Edie, low box left against Osibor, and a foul called. Johnson was there as well, and the foul is called against Isaac Johnson. That's his second here. Yeah, Not even three minutes gone by. Yeah, and you see the effectiveness of Johnson, a seven-footer you can put all the way out to the three-point line. Him picking up his second foul. And Danny Sprinkle talking to the ref, saying that it was someone else. And that's just unfortunate because there really were three Aggies players there that the call could have been made on. Non-shooting foul. Edie was at the line expecting to shoot free throws, but they are going to inbound under the basket. Well, Johnson, the big fish, as he's known, coming off the star-making night on Friday, checks out with two personals. Khalifa Sacco, the junior from Rouen, France, is in. Lawyer passes inside. Lance Jones misses it from bunny range on the right. Utah State has it. Up 6-2. to 17-minute mark. Brown, right wing jumper inside the arc. No good. Edie another board. Ahead to Smith, left to right. Smith on the right wing to Lawyer, top of the arc. Left side Jones, touch it. Inside Edie, right-handed hook over Osibor. No. Kaufman ran offensive rebound. He puts it back in. Count it. And the foul. Purdue within two at 6-4. to four. We mentioned the 21 offensive rebounds the Aggies gave up in game one. Purdue with two already here. And it is Wren who has drawn two fouls on the front court players for the Aggies. And he's got all four for the Boilermakers.
Rutgers. Now the free throw on the way and good. So Trey Kaufman ran five, Utah State with six. 16.45 to play first half. Winner to meet the five seed Gonzaga in the Sweet 16 in Detroit. Brown high right. Handed off to Falslev, off the curl, screen from Sacco. Falslev, pitch it to Osiborne in the corner, driving against Kaufman Red. Oh, flipped it up at the last moment. He draws the foul. Now, the question is, is it the act of shooting? I, I have to think that that was an attempt at a lob to Sacco if Edie had come across. Meanwhile, Osiborne is motioning, hey, you're going to give me credit for that, right? I was putting it up. I'm with you because he threw a couple of lobs yeah, yeah. to Sacco in the first round against TCU. Yeah, I don't think that that was an attempt at a shot. That was He was looking for the lob in an event that Edie came across. Fouls on the floor, inbounding baseline right. Osibor has it. Right of the circle, skip pass left wing, Brown. Lance Jones, wingspan, outstretched arms. Brown to the head of the key, fake the jumper, false left, right wing three, wide open, off the front of the rim. Weak side rebound, Zach Edie. Purdue left to right. Smith jogging into the forecourt. Met by in Martinez. Screen from Edie. Right elbow jumper. Pops out. Kaufman ran again. Offensive rebound. And he banks it home. Trey Kaufman ran. Putting his fingerprints on this game in the early going for the Boilermakers. And that's He's good. got all seven. It's seven to six and a chance for one more. And that is the second foul on Sacco. So he goes to the sideline. And little used big Templin comes into the game at only 6-7, I believe. Another just huge blow to the front court for the Aggies. And Trey Kaufman Wren nails the free throw. 8 to 6 Purdue. Trey Kaufman Wren of all people has all eight. Osabor. Kicks it to Martinez, left of the circle. Bounce it back to Osibor, mid-block left. Across the way to false left, out of bounds to the Purdue bench. A turnover and a timeout here in Indianapolis. Now the Purdue fans are engaged. Thanks to Trey Kaufman-Wren. Eight points. And Purdue's up 8-6 to six over Utah State. 15-48 to play in the first half. From the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. This Drink. Quick, the quicker picker-upper. Bounty picks up spills quicker. And each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less than the leading ordinary brand. So, you can get back to your night. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. The Masters is on Sirius XM. Yes, sir! In the tournament's long and storied history, only three men have defended their title. Jack Nicklaus finishes in great style. 1990 Masters champion Nick Fowler. The year of the Tiger again at Augusta. Could John Rahm become the fourth? Never thought I was going to cry about winning the golf tournament, but I got very close. Listen to coverage of the Masters tournament beginning Monday, April 8th on Masters Radio on Sirius XM. At Progressive, we know money can't buy happiness. But money did buy your boat, where you find peace fishing, unlike at home with three teenage daughters. Because fish never argue about who stole whose crop top or get mad the other fish use up all the hot water. No, they just swim around, never embarrassed to be seen with you in public. So save money by bundling your boat or RV insurance with home or auto from Progressive. And buy more happiness, or something close to it. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states. The big dance is here. The NCAA Men's Division I Basketball Championship returns on March 19th. And this year, select games are streaming on Max. No matter where you are, you can stream the biggest moments on and off the court. From busted brackets to the gut-wrenching upsets and the magical Cinderella stories. Follow the whole tournament and don't miss the Final Four. Streaming on Max April 6th and 8th. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network, your home for the national championships. Christopher Russo here. Mad Dog Sports Radio live during every game of the NCAA tournament. React to every upset on Channel 82 and the all-new Sirius XM app. Ted Emmerich and Austin Crozier are here at our Granger courtside seats at Gainbridge Fieldhouse in Indianapolis. Gain a winning edge for your business with Granger. You'll find supplies and solutions for every industry. When you call, click Granger.com or stop by one of over 250 branches nationwide. 
you play on the front line for Purdue with Zach Eady, you're going to get overshadowed. But that is not the case here in the first four minutes for Trey Kaufman Wren, the sophomore foreman, with eight points, all eight for Purdue, as the Boilers lead Utah State 8 to 6. And really imp impressive by Kaufman Wren. You know, the storylines that we said we need to watch out for were the rebounding. Six of the eight points for Kaufman Wren have been second chance points. Uh, but most importantly, it's the foul trouble for the Aggies. You know, you're, you're five, not even five minutes into the game, and two of your front court players have two fouls each. Jones, a lob for Edie, denied by Falslev, and out of bounds, last touched by Edie. Utah State ball. This stream on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network is sponsored by Wendy's, the official hamburger of March Madness. Get a Dave's single for just a dollar and a Dave's double for just two bucks with the offers in the Wendy's app. Terms apply. Triples for Martinez and it's 14 to 10, Utah State. So impressive what we have seen from Martinez here in Indianapolis game one and carrying over here into game two. Lawyer hooks it inside to Trey Kaufman Wren backing down Templin, the freshman at 6'8. Utah State wanted to travel. Kick it out, Smith right wing, eight to shoot. Kaufman Wren high low to Edie, back to Kaufman Wren off his fingertips, out to Smith right of center. Three pointer is pure. Purdue within one, 14 13. And, and that's when the perimeter players for Marquette really shine, when they go inside and out, get that defense really focused on Edie, and then really trying to close out to you hard on the perimeter. Great play there by Braden Smith. Closing in on the 13 minute mark, first half. Brown races down the right lane line. Kick it to Martinez. Fake the three against Smith. Left wing three. He is fouled as he misses it short. And Braden Smith can't believe it. Palms open. And the expression to say, are you choking? Well, Matt Painter and about everyone in the building, other than the maybe 2,000 Utah State fans, <laughs> agree with Braden Smith. But I think that there was enough contact there. And a lot of credit to Martinez with his aggressiveness since he has gotten into the game. Both of his threes have been contested. And on this one, where he gets fouled, there was not a lot of room for him to get the shot off, but he does knock down the first free throw. To make it 15-13, Utah State. Later on, we'll select the play of the day, sponsored by Old Spice. Introducing Old Spice Total Body Deodorant Spray, giving you 24-7 freshness from pits to toes with daily use. Martinez, 87% on the season, second of three free throws in the air and off the front of the rim. No good. Martinez, Austin, was a late addition for Danny Sprinkle and Utah State. Sprinkle says he left a scholarship open just in case a talent like Martinez, who transferred from Maryland, became available. Yeah, the way the transfer portal works, those are the things you have to kind of take into consideration. Which pieces you're all going to put together as Martinez misses the second and only comes away with one point from the free throw line. But as you mentioned, he is a huge addition to this team. Yeah, missed two out of three there. So two-point Utah State lead. Smith pulls the trigger left of center. Off the mark on the three. Osibor the rebound at 6'8", 250, bringing it up the floor. Osibor, the honorable mention All-American, pitches it to Josh Aduje. Drive and kick. Osibor, the drive against Edie down the left lane line. Trying to bounce it to Aduje. And Lawyer takes it away for Purdue. A steal. Lawyer sends it ahead to Mason Gillis, sixth man of the year in the Big Ten. Fire a pass inside. Edie goes reverse to the left, and Edie draws the foul. I mean, if you're great, Osibor, and two other front court players are on the sideline, you know, sometimes I think you got to just give Edie that layup, right? 
and, and stay in the game. Osibor so important, especially with those two guys on the sidelines. I think you got to be a little bit smarter and let him go on that one. Yeah, so Osibor with his first. Edie at the line. Nation's leader in free throw makes and attempts. Buries the first. Purdue within one, 15-14. Whether you're looking for style, inspiration, or on-trend pieces, turn any space into your happy place with Ashley. Shop Ashley's anniversary sale in-store or online today. Edie was 8 of 14 at the strike in the first round, and he hits the second here. We are tied at 15. And a foul trouble for Utah State up front. You mentioned it, Austin. So Osibor with his first. Isaac Johnson already with two. Khalifa Sacco already with two. And Carson Templin, the freshman, did not even play yes. in game one of the NCAA tournament. He is he, he is playing out of necessity. 12-12 remaining first half here in Indianapolis. Winner to the regional semifinals. Brown left wing, ball over his head. Lob it to Osipor, short corner left against Edie. Osipor fires a skip pass right to Aduje. He sweeps into the lane, floater no good, and Edie vacuums in the rebound. Smith walks it up for Purdue. We're tied at 15. 11.48 to play first half. Smith out front, Edie sets the screen, Smith turns the corner, shot rejected by Folslev. Great Osibor pulls it away for Utah State. Brown, lead pass, Martinez, fake the three, Chad with the right against Gillis, step back, left baseline, jumper is good. Ian Martinez is feeling it so far. Utah State up 17-15 and he's got 11. I think for Danny Sprinkle, the offense is easy, get it to Martinez and get out of the way, he's not... Needing much space to get his shot off, and he is hitting everything he throws up. Gillis sent it inside to Edie, turning, and whistle blows. Utah State wanted to travel. I believe a foul was called there against Utah State. And that is the case against Mason Falslim. We've got a break in the action. 11-14 to go, first half. It's Utah State 17, the top seed Purdue 15. You're listening to the Men's Basketball Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Great-looking uniforms are an expression of teamwork, confidence, and pride. Cintas can help make sure your team is dressed to perform their best every day. We offer workwear and apparel that's comfortable and durable with a modern fit. From work shirts and pants to polos and khakis to Oxfords or T-shirts. And it all comes with weekly laundry service and delivery right to you. To learn more, visit Cintas.com oh, and get ready for the workday. Drivers who switch and save with Progressive could save Did hundreds, you hit the like which could be life-changing. Hit the like button and subscribe I mean, you could too. put that money Join towards sponsors for your daughter to see that singer who sings about painful breakups. And one song will inspire your little beauty to break up with that beast she's dating, Brian. Instead, she'll date someone who's nice and worthy of her love, not someone who addresses you and your spouse as, bro. And it's all because you could save money switching at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Not available in all states. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. You need parts? O'Reilly Auto Parts has parts. Need them fast? We've got fast. No matter what you need, we have thousands of professional parts people doing their part to make sure you have it. Product availability. Just one part that makes O'Reilly stand apart. The professional parts people. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. Feeling great starts with a great shave, and great shaves start with Barbasol Shaving Cream. That's Barbasol Shaving Cream, an American classic for over 100 years. Close Shave America, Close Shave Barbasol. Barbasol. Getting ready to take on spring? Make your first move with steel battery tools. Right now, save $50 on the RMA 460V lawnmower battery set. Real steel. Find yours at steelusa.com. With AK30 battery and AL101 charger. Offer valid for a limited time only. Participating dealers while supplies last. From now through the national title game, stream every game of the NCAA Men's Tournament on Westwood One, sponsored by Wendy's. You can listen to all our broadcasts live on the official NCAA Marches app, on our website, westwoodonesports.com, or by asking Alexa to open Westwood One Sports. Get a Dave single for just a dollar and a Dave's double for just two bucks with the offers in the Wendy's app. Wendy's, the official hamburger of March Madness. 
I'm at a time offer at participating U.S. Wendy's. Redeem in Wendy's app. Account registration required. See offer in Wendy's app for details. What did Ian Martinez tell us the other night after Utah State's win over TCU? Martinez is madness. Yeah. He's got 11 in a row for Utah State, and they lead the top seed, Purdue, 17-15. I, I just love his mindset. And again, we saw it in the second half down the stretch uh, in, in their round one win. It's carried over here tonight. And I think that's the attitude that you have to have against Purdue, right? The odds, everything is against you. We talked about throwing everything, the kitchen sink at them. And, and Martinez is just like, hey, if we're going to lose, it's not going to be with me being passive. I'm going to look for my shot. I have confidence in it. Best sign for him is that he got something to go early on. And you look at the foul trouble and where the offense is going to come from. I, against Purdue, it is just so difficult to get points in the paint. And, and, and easy touches down low. So it really does have to come from the perimeter. And Martinez, very good shooting the three-point shot. Now if he gets defenders running at him, he's very comfortable with a one or two dribble into that pull-up shot before Edie can come across and contest. Next foul by Utah State puts Purdue in the bonus the remainder of the half. Purdue ball left baseline and looping it in his lawyer into Gillis. Down low Edie, he's surrounded. Kick it to Camden Heidi on the floor for the first time in the corner. To Smith, free throw line extended left. Bluff a pass inside. Back to Heidi. Smith, touch it to Heidi. Inside Edie. Balls hopping. Five to shoot. Left elbow jumper. Good for Fletcher Lawyer. And, and that was a different approach for Danny Sprinkle. Mark Osibor just played directly behind Edie, almost inviting that post entry pass and then they doubled immediately on the catch good Tied. patience by Purdue tied at 17 10 41 to play a Duje launches a right wing three he's got it Utah State back up 20 to 17 a Duje the co six man of the year in the Mountain West Edie high post right one dribble with the left handed off to lawyer downhill against Javon Jackson layup No, Edie tip in yes right in front of the basket And you can just tell that's something Osibor is not used to he was in perfect possession to get that rebound And Edie didn't necessarily go over the back just went directly above him to tap it in 20 to 19 Utah State again Edie has eight inches on Osibor inside right now Aduce flips it to Brown top of the arc on the edge of the March Madness logo. Eight to shoot. Brown darts right. Elbow jumper off the heel. And Edie's got another rebound. His sixth to go with six points. Smith into the forecourt. Finds the trailing Edie. High post right. Ball over his head. Finds the cutting Heidi down the left lane line. Kick it to Gillis. Fake the three against Aduje. Down low Edie. Turn around. Hook shot over Asabor. Good. And there's just a little bit of frustration from Asabor coming up the floor. Almost feels deflated. I mean, listen, when you're banging up a guy that's 300 pounds every single time you're down the floor, that's going to take something out of you. And then for him to just kind of flick it in over your head two plays in a row, you're right. Aduce right corner three. Utah State reclaims the lead at 23-21. 9.15 to play first half. And Osibor is gassed. He has played this entire game. Interesting that Danny Sprinkle goes to one of his two bigs to have two fouls. Smith right elbow. Bounce it to Edie. Trying to muscle through Osibor. Whistle blows. Foul called on the floor. You gotta be on Martinez. And it's on Martinez. Not Osibor. So it's Martinez's first. And the seventh team fell, so one and one for Edie. And listen, so much. There's such physical play with Edie. And the last two plays that have gone against the Aggies, there really hasn't been that much there. And I think the officials have to determine how they're going to call this game. Are we going to let things go or are we going to call everything? Because certainly... Uh, the last two fouls, there's been very little contact. Front end of the one and one from Edie. He rainbows it in. The official NCAA ticket exchange is the only NCAA approved place to buy and sell authentic, 100% guaranteed Final Four tickets with other fans. Visit the official NCAA ticket exchange today at NCAA.com slash exchange. So Edie has started three of three at the line, 9.6 rebounds. Second free throw in the air, good. And Purdue has tied it up at 23. Nine minutes to go first half. Javon Jackson, the transfer from Division II Southern Nazarene University in Oklahoma, brings it up. Puts it in the hands of Osibor, right wing. Maneuvers to the left elbow. Give it up to Aduje. Now with Edie, trying to drive against the 7-4 Edie. And Aduje draws the foul, attacking from the right side. So many times teams just don't elect to attack Edie, knowing that the odds are not in your favor that the shot is going to be blocked. Great move by Aduje, just getting into that paint. 
creating the contact. And it was really kind of mistimed by Edie more than anything. Instead of getting the ball, he came across more at the elbow. So Edie picks up his first, and Aduje misses the first free throw, 74% on the year. The other Brit on the team, besides great Osibor, Aduje from London, and a transfer from Coastal Carolina. Second free throw as he spins the ball in his hands, eyes the rim, lets it fly, got this one. Utah State up 24-23. 8.43 remaining in the half here in Indianapolis. Winner heads to the Sweet 16 to play five-seed Gonzaga. Smith to the right elbow for Purdue. Pocket pass Edie. Up with the right. Off glass. No good. Out of bounds. And off Utah State. Purdue ball. Utah State fans behind us did not like that call, but I think that that was the right one. But Edie has been having to work for everything he's got. That was one of his cleaner looks of the first half and couldn't get it to go from just three feet. Heidi inbounds from the left baseline far side. Gillis leaps to catch the pass. Over to Edie. Kick it to Heidi. Right corner three. In and out. Loose ball. Edie's got it. Fresh shot clock for Purdue. Smith jabs with the right. Right of center. Jones whips it in the left corner to Gillis. On the low box. Edie back to Gillis. Catch and shoot three from the corner. That's short. Heidi skies for the offensive rebound. And he throws it down with both hands. Purdue takes the lead at 25-24. That was emphatic from Camden Heidi. That was the seventh offensive rebound of the game for Purdue. And the Aggies, who have fought so valiantly, now starting to struggle with the defensive end. Aduce looking to attack Edie again. On the switch, Aduce probing into the paint. Shot blocked by Edie with the right hand. And he slaps hands with Gillis and Smith as we head to an official timeout. Purdue on top, the top seed in the Midwest region. 25-24 over the eight seed, Utah State. 7.48 remaining first half. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Texting privacy policy and terms and conditions posted at textplan.us. Texting rules for occurring automated text marketing messages. Message and data rates may apply. Reply stop, opt out. Minimum purchase required. Interest accrues from date of purchase, but is waived if paid within promotional period. Go to windowappointmentnow.com for full offer details. Attention homeowners. Do you know when to replace your windows? Feeling too hot or cold? Fog between the glass. Spending too much on expensive energy that literally goes out the window? It's time to replace. And right now, you can get a free in-home window consultation and free price quote from Renewal by Anderson. Plus, with our March 31-day sales event, you can save $377 off every window and $777 off every door when you buy four or more units. Just text MARCH to 200-300 for your free consultation on top quality affordable windows or patio doors for no dollars down, no monthly payments, and no interest for a year. That's right, you don't pay a dime for an entire year. Text MARCH to 200-300 to save $377 off every window. Remember and everybody hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and make units. sure you Hurry, vote. We're going tonight. Sales offers Let me only know. March. Text MARCH to 200-300. Text the word MARCH to 200-300. MARCH to 200-300. The less your business spends, the more margin you keep. But today, everything costs more. So smart businesses are graduating to NetSuite by Oracle. NetSuite is the number one cloud financial system, bringing accounting, financial management, inventory, HR into one proven platform, helping you reduce IT costs, maintenance costs, and manual errors. Over 37,000 companies have already made the move to NetSuite. Now through April 15th, NetSuite is offering a one-of-a-kind flexible financing program. Head to NetSuite.com slash hoops right now. NetSuite.com slash hoops. Brad Heller back in the Verizon studios in Los Angeles. Get the network you can rely on for your phone and your home internet and save. Find the plan that's right for you at Verizon.com. First game in Indianapolis, Marquette beat Colorado 81-77. The Golden Eagles in their first Sweet 16 since 2013. They'll take on NC State on Friday in Dallas. In the women's tournament, second round action, South Carolina blew out North Carolina 88-41, the Gamecocks 33-0. and And meanwhile, Duke over Ohio State 75-63. The Buckeyes were a two-seed. Let's get you back to Indianapolis. Ted Emmerich and Austin Crozier. 7.48 to play until halftime. One seed, Purdue, on top, 25-24. Over the eight seed, Utah State. The Aggies, a team, Austin, that did not return a single point from a year ago. Had three returning players. None of them scored last season for then-head coach Ryan Odom, now at VCU. 
Danny Sprinkle rebuilding this team on the fly with a lot of transfers, and here they are taking their shots against the top seed in the Midwest region. That, that it certainly is true, but he did bring in great Osibor and Darius Brown the second with him from Montana State, so he has a lot of familiarity with those guys. He recruited them, uh, went to the NCAA tournament with them twice, uh, but it really is impressive. And it's kind of the modern NCAA basketball, right, where you bring in a lot of new players every year, and it's the personalities that you have to find a way to put them together, uh, get them on the same page, and Danny Sprinkle has just done a fantastic job. Ten to shoot for Utah State after the block out of bounds by Edie. Brown into Osibor, and Osibor an air ball way short from the left wing. Smith bumped by Brown up the floor, and oh, it's an offensive foul! Called against Braden Smith. That's his second personal. Brown of Utah State nodding his head, of course, agreeing with the call. Well, Brown was really just kind of getting into the skin of Smith the entire game. And Smith was tired of it. Kind of ran into him a little bit, extended that right elbow. It's a call that the officials definitely could have just let go. But either way, it is another turnover for Purdue. And Smith takes a seat with the two personals. The bouncy freshman, Miles Colvin, takes his place. Osibor high left with it for Utah State. Shovel it to Brown. Skip pass right corner. Jacks it up with the three over Trey Kaufman. Wren, no good. Templin offensive rebound. Edie right there near him. And Templin missed going reverse side. Purdue clears left to right. Lance Jones finds Edie up top. Shovel it back. Jones three-pointer is short. Long rebound to Darius Brown. Brown hopping into the forecourt. Goes behind the back between the legs against Jones. Circling the arc right to left to Osibor. Short corner right against Edie. Osibor takes it to his chest. Lost it on the way up. Edie with the hustle play. Diving on the floor as he gets it ahead to Fletcher Lawyer. Lawyer slashes in to the right lane line. Floater off the mark. And false left controls it for Utah State. False left hurries ahead. Right to left for the Aggies. Finds the trailing Templin. Templin splitting Colvin E. Missed the layup. And Purdue takes it back. Purdue leads 25-24. 6.33 to play first half. Jones driving kick to Colvin. He moves to the right elbow. Guarded by Jackson. Bounce it to Lawyer. Left of center. Hook it to Trey Kaufman Red. Scoop it right back to Lawyer. Lawyer ducks to the foul line. Bounce it to Edie. Against Osibor. Hook shot. Front rim. Board. Down with a foul. Zach Eady, tongue slipping out of the right side of his mouth. A little nod of his head and a chance at three the hard way for Edie as Purdue leads 27-24. Danny Sprinkle re really laying into his fr freshman, Templin. Templin has taken a couple of questionable shots on offense and there just kind of reached in and grabbed Edie blindly at the elbow. It will earn him a trip to the bench as Martinez comes back in and you know, I was really curious when we would see potentially the bigs for Utah State come back into the game. Isaac Johnson, um, Khalifa Sacco, both of those guys with the two fouls as Edie completes the three-point play. They have not come back into this game, and I wouldn't be surprised if Danny Sprinkle doesn't bring them back in here in this first half and start them in the second. 28-24 Purdue Boilermaker fans on their feet here in Indianapolis. False left, free throw line extended right. False left to the baseline, bank shot, no, offensive foul. Lance Jones hits the floor and takes the charge for Purdue. Danny Sprinkle has got to be happy with his team to this point down fo just four with six minutes to go in this game, but you just get the sense that this is one of those potentially pivotal moments that we see from Purdue so many times throughout the season where they take a four-point lead and turn it into a 12-point lead Utah State is going to have to lock down defensively, make sure that doesn't happen. Oh, Lance Jones is wearing Darius Brown like a backpack. Purdue fans want a foul on Brown. No whistle. Lob it inside. Kaufman ran up and under, and bank shot is good from the right. 30-24 to 24, Purdue. The Boilermakers have their largest lead. Brown, quick trigger three left wing for Utah State. No. Lawyer soars for the rebound, and he's fouled by Josh Aduje. Now, Brown is the ability to make that shot, even though it was early in the shot clock. But we mentioned how this building is starting to get behind the Boilermakers. The lead is at six, and Purdue is at the line for a chance to extend it to eight, and it happens in the blink of an eye, Ted. Edie was the one asking the crowd to make more noise. Of course they're going to oblige Zach Edie. Lawyer heads to the line. 
to shoot two. Purdue now in the double bonus, and he drains the first. Later on, we'll select the coaching move of the day, sponsored by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Think O'Reilly Auto Parts for all your car care needs. Get the parts and service you need fast from the professional parts people at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Nigel Burris now checks in for the first time for Utah State. The 6'7 sophomore transfer from Idaho. Lawyer hits the second. Utah State using players up front that never saw the floor in the first round. 32-24 Purdue. 5.32 to play first half. Burris up top against Kaufman Red. Loop it to Brown. Chest pass right to Martinez, who scored 11 in a row at one point this half. Martinez steadies the dribble, left elbow, got Colvin off his feet, jumper off the mark, Edie with the rebound, his 10th to go with 13 points, it's his 65th career double-double. Jones on the E in madness at midcourt for Purdue. Lawyer touch it inside. Edie against Burris. Oh, too strong with it. Kaufman Red tried to follow. It's controlled by Utah State. Asabor at 250 pounds. A freight train right to left. And he lost it on the way up. Miles Colvin, the freshman with the steal. Purdue left to right. Ahead to Jones. No look feed. Edie is hammered from behind by Martinez. Otherwise, Zach Edie was going to hammer the rim. I, and you just got to love the demeanor of Edie. He goes hard every time down the floor and just gets absolutely clobbered on the arm from behind. Two players fouled him. One drew it. One was after. You mentioned uh, Utah State going with two guys that did not play in game one in the tournament. And that's where you start to get to a point like, has this lineup ever been on the court together? Seriously. And, and, and how do you do that as a team? And I think where Danny Sprinkle... As Edie knocks down the first free throw, you, you got to start to question, hey, this game all of a sudden is at nine. How far can we allow this to go trying to save our two rotation players who are in foul trouble for the second half? Johnson picked up two early ones. So did Sacco. The two centers, they haven't been seen in a while as Edie misses the second. It is a 12-1 to run for Purdue. They lead 33-24. Martinez mid post left to Burris high right now Asabor between the circles he shovels it to a DJ right wing left-handed dribble down the left lane line pull up from eight no good Colvin rips down the board Lance Jones brings it up as he eyes Purdue offensive coordinator PJ Thompson who calls the play with the little whiteboard in his right hand Jones hash mark left bounce it to Edie mid post left out to Colvin right wing three on the way bullseye Colvin with three fingers to his face it's 13 straight points for Purdue and Indianapolis has come unglued 36 24 the Boilermakers have their largest lead with 410 remaining in the half we've got a break in the action Purdue 36, Utah State 24, 410 mark first half. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. It's game day at Jim's house, and the spread is impressive. Mike's already done some damage with the hot wings, and now he's dropping back and going deep for another slice of pizza. I sure hope he brought the Pepto. Mike knows the Pepto-Bismol provides fast, five-symptom relief from unexpected stomach upsets. He's no rookie. <laughs> the way he's throwing back those nachos, he's the GOAT. Be ready for game day with Pepto-Bismol. When you have nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Use as directed, keep out of reach of children. Progressive presents Renter's MVP's Most Valuable Possessions. Today's MVP, Tom Kelly's Carbon Fiber Mountain Bike. Because more than riding his carbon fiber mountain bike, Tom loves telling people about his carbon fiber mountain bike. Friends, family, even a local barista knows about his carbon fiber mountain bike. Light and that's why Tom's carbon Come fiber on. mountain bike, if you haven't heard about it, is today's MVP. Keep your family. most valuable possessions protected by bundling your renters and auto insurance with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states. If you're like most people, you've had your fair share of financial questions. Questions like, can I afford my son's travel hockey team? What if my daughter doesn't get that soccer scholarship? Will I be able to enjoy golf in retirement? At Empower, we know these questions can be stressful. We're here to help answer your what ifs and empower what's next. Join 18 million Americans and take control of your financial future. Start today at Empower.com. Sponsored by Empower Personal Wealth. Something amazing is happening in animation. Studios are processing data faster. 
That's because CDW showed them new ways to maximize their infrastructure, then built a flexible Dell Technologies data solution. More automation led to reduced maintenance times and greater efficiency, so that creativity stays the star of the show. Dell Technologies and CDW. Make amazing happen. Learn more at cdw.com slash Dell Data Center. Time now for the Coles fact of the game. Purdue looking to advance to their fifth Sweet 16 in the last seven NCAA tournaments. Of course, they would love to advance to their first Final Four since 1980. But Purdue has actually won four straight second-round games in the NCAA tournament. Their last loss coming in 2012 to Kansas. That's the fact of the game, sponsored by Kohl's. It's a new season at Kohl's. Find fresh everyday styles for you and your home at great prices. Shop Kohl's and Kohl's.com today. A burst from Purdue here, Austin. A 13 0 run for the Boilers, and they lead Utah State 36 24 late in the half. Yeah, and obviously that's the defensive component for Utah State, and that's going to be a struggle with Edie, such a focus. Now, Edie out of the game, and a rare opportunity for Utah State to look to try and get some points, possibly in the paint, something that they do a very good job of. Uh, but, I mean, this this Purdue team is so good, can score in bunches. Uh, I thought it was impressive that Utah State kept it close to this point, but you just know Purdue is... At any time, they get, in a two-minute span, they can go on that 10-2 run, and that's exactly what we saw from them. Aggies have missed their last 10 shots from the floor. Brown has it between the circles for Utah State. They matched up with Lance Jones. Left-handed dribble, picks it up, lob it to Asabor, fires it to Sacco. Three-pointer straight on is no good. And make your pardon, Nigel Burris missing the three for Utah State. Jones, the rebound for Purdue. And that was, that's the difference. If that's Johnson in the game, that's a three-pointer that can be made. Coffin Wren hands it off to Fletcher Lawyer at the right elbow. Got Martinez to shake, and Lawyer buries the jumper. 38-24. It's 15 in a row for the Boilermakers. Now Johnson getting ready to check in for Utah State before this lead gets two out of hand. Burris tries another three from the top of the arc. That's off target. Trey Kaufman ran, pulls down the rebound with Zach Eady on the bench. I, I'm just surprised that you're getting so many shots by guys that don't play in the regular rotation. I think Martinez and Brown in this lineup are the guys that you got to run the offense through and look to get them in scoring positions. Jones got knocked down for Purdue and foul called against Utah State. And we've got a timeout. Fouls on Darius Brown, his first. Our score, 38-24, the top seed Purdue over the eighth seed, Utah State, 2.58 remaining until halftime. You're listening to the Men's Basketball Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Great-looking uniforms are an expression of teamwork, confidence, and pride. Cintas can help make sure your team is dressed to perform their best every day. We offer workwear and apparel that's comfortable and durable with a modern fit. From work shirts and pants, to polos and khakis, to Oxfords or t-shirts. And it all comes with weekly laundry service and delivery right to you. To learn more, visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the workday. Running your own business can feel a lot like running a one-person relay race. When you've got to expand your team, share the baton with Indeed. Their all-in-one hiring platform has smart tools to help you attract, screen, and hire quality candidates to your roster. And they don't just help you hire faster. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites, according to a recent Indeed survey. Nix the hassle. Start hiring. Learn more at Indeed.com slash credit to expand your team today. Where are my basketball fans at? Welcome to Fandom 101. The NCAA men's hoop season is here, meaning it's time for you to bring a little charisma and chaos for your squad. Be the sixth man in the stand. NCAA Division I men's basketball. Attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Buy your seats today at NCAA.com slash MVP tickets. Class dismissed. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. You need parts? O'Reilly Auto Parts has parts. Need them fast? We've got fast. No matter what you need, we have thousands of professional parts people doing their part to make sure you have it. Product availability. 
Just one part that makes O'Reilly stand apart. The professional parts people. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. Stay with us for the Wendy's NCAA Tournament Halftime Report. We'll recap game one here in Indy between Marquette and Colorado. The Golden Eagles on to the Sweet 16 for the first time in 11 years. Also, we'll hear from James Madison head coach Mark Byington as the Dukes prepare for their matchup against Duke. It's coming up at the half, sponsored by Wendy's, the official hamburger of March Madness. Ted Emmerich, Austin Crozier with you here in Indianapolis. Top seed Purdue on a 15-0 run. They've opened it up 38-24 over Utah State, 2.58 to go. Yeah. This is what they have done all season long. They wear you down in the interior. They get you into foul trouble, and they don't stop. They just continually go in low. Uh, Zach Eady has been phenomenal here. He deserves a break, and it just continues with the rest of this group. They have the firepower on the perimeter, do a great job of mixing it up. You know, so many times teams that have three-point shooters settle for those early in the shot clock. You almost never see that with Matt Painter's teams. They assess what the defense is giving them and make the correct decision accordingly. Lance Jones at the line for Purdue. He misses the first free throw, 74% on the year. And one more for the Southern Illinois transfer, the one transfer to join Purdue this season. And he drills the second. 39-24, 2.56 to go. 16 consecutive points for the Boilermakers. Utah State hasn't scored in almost six minutes. Brown left of the circle with it for Utah State. Post-entry, Osibor knocked out of his hands by Lawyer and a foul call. And I like that decision to go to Osibor with Edie on the sideline. He has been banging against him all game long. He deserves an opportunity to get the ball without a seven foot four guard guy guarding him and earns a trip to the line. Yeah, Osibor, four points on two of six shooting. First free throw is good. Just 63% on the season. Jumped up in competition this year. From the big sky with Mountain West. And he leveled up his play as Edie is now back on the floor for Purdue. Osibor lofts it. Second free throw, front rim board and down. 39-26 as Utah State ends its drought. So Edie back in. Isaac Johnson briefly returned for Utah State with the two personals, and now he checks back out. My, my guess is that was kind of an offense defense they, where it was an opportunity to take him out of the game on defense, and I think that's a good decision by Sprinkle. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes back in if they could do it just for offense. Colvin handles it right wing to Edie, top of the arc, one dribble, handoff on the curl, Lawyer down the right lane line. Osibor tried to block it, Lawyer missed the layup, Edie with the putback, it's 41-26. And that's just a great job by Osibor coming across and blocking, getting a finger on it, but it puts him out of position to rebound in two of Edie's easiest points of the night. 41-26, nearing the two-minute mark. Osibor trying to take Edie down low in the post on the mid-block. Osibor back to the basket, drop step, and he turns past Edie and scores. That's a great job taking Edie, really facing up for maybe 12, 15 feet. Now you've got Edie having to go laterally where he's not quite as comfortable, and you get the tough finish. 41-28 Purdue, 143 to play. Lawyer, right of the lane, lob it in, Edie gathers against Martinez, he flips it in with a foul, and a little shrug from Zach Edie. 43-28 Purdue, late stages first half, Edie is eating again, 18 points to go with 11 rebounds. And I think you're Martinez there who just picked up his third foul and likely coming to the sideline for the rest of the half. You're trying, right? to make sure that he doesn't make the field goal. Once the decision has been made to foul, make sure he has to earn it at the foul line. And Edie, just too strong, goes completely through Martinez. He knocks down the free throw and completes another three-point play. Edie is 7 of 8 at the line here in the first half. 44-28 Purdue, the top seed in the Midwest region. Brown high right with it for Utah State. Left-handed low dribble between the legs against Jones. Shuffles to the right elbow. Jumper is good. 
point. Utah State's going to need more from Darius Brown, aren't they? And that's great offense. I mean, Brown is so good getting to those elbows for pull-up jump shots. If you could just create a little separation on a high pick and roll, I'd continue to go to that. Gillis whips a pass inside, and Edie throws it down with both hands. 46 to 30 Purdue under a minute to play in the half and the Boilermaker fans are back on their feet Asabor high post right Flip it to Aduje on the wing against Edie jabs at the right takes the three over Edie Missed it Asabor offensive rebound back to Aduje drive and kick full slip from the right corner That's right down the chute and Utah State within 13, 46-33. And that was a rare offensive rebound that the Aggies came up with. And so many times on those long rebounds, you find the open three-point shooter. And the Aggies finding a way to try and keep it close. Just a one-second difference between the clocks. Jones handles it high right, right in front of us. Lobs it across the floor to Lawyer. Holds the ball at his waist. Right back to Jones. Eight to shoot. Nine to go in the half. Colvin in the corner. Back to Jones. Looking to attack Brown. Launches a deep three. And he banked it in! Lance Jones, three fingers in the air as the buzzer sounds. Could Purdue have closed the half any better? Their largest lead yet. 16 points, 49-33, the top seed in front of Utah State. And Utah State deserves a lot of credit for what they did in the first 10 minutes of this game. They were ahead 24-23 to at one point, and then you knew it was just a matter of time before Purdue went on their run. Edie, who triggers everything for this team offensively, got loose down low, got into foul trouble. They played against second unit players, started hitting some shots from the perimeter, and this is what we have seen from Purdue all season long. It's why they are the number one seed in this region. Purdue 49, Utah State 33 at the half here in Indianapolis. When we return, we'll head back to our studios for the Wendy's halftime report. From the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network, this is the Men's Basketball Tournament. Opening day is coming. And we can already hear the buzz in this ballpark. Get ready for the season with Sirius XM and MLB Network Radio. Shohei Otani brings them to their feet. You'll hear every MLB game on Sirius XM, including your hometown announcers on the all-new Sirius XM app. It is running. Talk about the game on MLB Network Radio, the only 24-7 baseball channel on radio. Sirius XM 89 and the Sirius XM app. Celebrate and save at Ashley's Anniversary Sale. With Hot Buys, your choice of color starting at just $3.99. Ashley Sleep Mattresses starting at $2.50. Plus, receive a free adjustable base with select mattress purchases. And shop top mattress brands like Stearns & Foster, Tempur-Pedic, Purple, and Beautyrest Black with 60-month special financing only at Ashley. Subject to credit approval. No minimum purchase required. Minimum monthly payment, down payment, tax, and delivery may be required. See store for details. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, banking with Capital One is the easiest decision in the history of decisions. Even easier than choosing Charles Barkley in a pickup game. We'll take Barkley. Ha! First pick! Sorry, kids! Yep, even easier than that. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, is it even a decision? Okay, here's the plan. Pass me the ball every time. This is banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com slash bank for details. Capital One and a member FDIC. Without the ones like you, who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional-grade industrial supplies. Count on real-time product availability and fast delivery. Call, click Granger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Welcome to the Wendy's NCAA Tournament Halftime Report. Get a Dave's single for just a dollar and a Dave's double for just two bucks with the offers in the Wendy's app. Wendy's, the official hamburger of March Madness. Limited time offer participating U.S. Wendy's. Redeeming Wendy's app. Account registration required. See offering Wendy's app for details. 
Now, here's your host, Brad Heller. What a finish to the first half for Purdue. The number one seed in the Midwest leads the eight seed Utah State 49-33. It was a 15-0 Boilermakers run. Zach Eady, 21 points, 11 rebounds already in that first half. He could have his second straight 30-20 game, which he did after beating Grambling State in the opener on Friday. Welcome inside our Westwood One Studios in Los Angeles. The next game on the schedule here in round two today will be from Brooklyn. Duke and the Dukes of James Madison. The Blue Devils, the four seed in the south, they dismantled Vermont on Friday, while the 12 seed JMU went wire to wire against Wisconsin. Second time they've beaten a Big Ten team this season after topping Michigan State in the season opener. The Dukes have the longest active winning streak in the country right now, 14 in a row. Their head coach, Mark Byington, spoke to our Chris Carino. Coach, let's go back to the other night in your game against Wisconsin. You guys came out with a great physicality. Was that something that you really stressed before the game? Yeah, I mean, it was talked about going into the game how physical they were. And it was almost talked like we couldn't play that way. And if you watched our team in all our games this year, that's something we pride ourselves in, whether it's the rebound of physicality, the screen of physicality, defense, 50-50 balls. I mean, it's something my guys, you know, take great pride in. And, and they – they heard what was going on before coming into the game, so they wanted to make sure they made a statement with that. Obviously, you guys were able to get a lot of takeaways, and that led to some easy buckets. Is that something you stress, taking the ball, or is that just a byproduct of solid defense? Uh, it's both. Um, I think in that game, I thought we had quickness advantages, and I thought maybe they had some size advantages. And so we wanted to use what we had to our advantage, and, and so we wanted to heat the ball. We thought we could buy some time on some post feeds, um, limit some things on the flex cuts they were trying to get, maybe get extra second there to recover. And um, we were able to, too, when they were able to drive the ball, of kind of be active in the gaps and dig and take the ball in the gaps, or the 50-50s we got those as well. Yeah, of course, it takes a certain type of player to be able to play that way. I, it's hard to coach that in teams. So what do you think the main characteristic of the, of the guys that, that you have on this team are? I think they're born with it. Um, I mean, I, I think they're guys who, like, they, they seek contact, they seek physicality. Um, I think a lot of times people look for it in football, but it, it, the way basketball is now, it's so physical out there, we just don't have pads. Um, but I need the guys who will get in there, use their bodies, aren't scared of contact, and we have a bunch of them on this team. Now you step up to Duke. Uh, what stands out about you, about the Blue Devils, and how you're going to be able to match up to them? Yeah, the guards, uh, Proctor and, Ro and Roach, are, are put a lot of pressure on you. Um, ball screens, driving, transition. And, uh, you know, then you got Filipowski down there, and he's, you know, he's, he's a inside-outside guy, great post player, but just studying him last night and this morning and, and, and getting ready, you know, he's a tremendous passer. And so that's one thing you got to get ready for when you're playing against him is how well he passes the ball. And I think it's unlike a lot of Duke teams. They don't play fast pace. They're, they're lower possessions. And a lot of times you got games this year, 59, 60, 61 possessions, and so they're going to play a slower pace than us, but we can't give out, let them transition, breakaways, and get going. That's how they make their runs. But then if they don't get transition, they're going to set it up and run some clock and get the ball to those guys I just mentioned. What kind of a whirlwind is it after you play on a Friday night, have to turn around against play a team like Duke on a Sunday? I, I would imagine there's not a lot of wrinkles that you can add from one game to the next. Yeah, it's a tough turnaround. I mean, uh, Friday night we didn't get out of here until 1240. By the time we got to the hotel, it was almost 2 a.m. And, you know, you're up all night as a coach, and, and you got to make it simple for your guys in the game plan. You can't make it overcomplicated. you got to be who you are. Um, there is some things you got to tweak. I mean, you're playing, playing a team like Duke and, and all the things they can do. You tweak some things, but you got to go in and be yourself. And you, you can't make overhaul changes and try to, like, be somebody you're not. JMU head coach Mark Byington, we really appreciate your time. Good luck against Duke. Yeah, thanks for having me. The, the Dukes against Duke. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> e easy marketing for you. <laughs> All right, we're going to head it back right now to the Westwood Brun Broadcast Studio in Los Angeles. All right, Chris, thank you very much. It will be James Madison and Duke, first game of the day in Brooklyn, a 4-12 matchup in the South region for the right to go to Dallas. Halftime in Indianapolis for the right to go to Detroit. It's Purdue 49 and Utah State 33. Coming up, we'll recap how Marquette advanced to the Sweet 16 and also check the Round 2 scoreboard in the women's tournament. You're listening to the Men's Basketball Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. 
This March, Wendy's has some amazing deals on their hamburgers made with fresh, never frozen beef. Like a juicy Dave single for a buck and a fresh $2 Dave's double with in-app offer. It's such a good deal, we wrote a little ditty about it. Get it for a buck. Dave single, Dave single, order in the app. Dave single, Dave single, get it for a buck. Choose wisely, choose Wendy's official hamburger March Madness. Limited time offer, participating U.S. Wendy's. See offer details and redeem the Wendy's app. Account registration required. Fresh beef available in the contiguous U.S. and Alaska. What companies deserve your hard-earned dollar? Which would you want to work for? How can you know if they share your values? Just ask us. Just Capital is a nonprofit that tracks who really means business in supporting workers, customers, communities, the environment, and shareholders. We measure progress, track success, and help them be better. When you see the Just Capital seal, you know what's real, because just business is better business. Visit JustCapital.com to learn who makes your dollar count. Welcome back to Westwood One's exclusive coverage of the men's basketball tournament from the Verizon Studios. I'm Brad Heller. Get the network you can rely on for your phone and your home internet and save. Find the plan that's right for you at Verizon.com. Purdue up on Utah State at halftime, 49-33. Game number one in Indianapolis, Marquette in Colorado. The Golden Eagles blowing a double-digit lead, but it was Tyler Kolick, the star for the Golden Eagles down the stretch. Under 60 seconds to play. Marquette up by one. Kolick triples underneath the basket. He twirls around Lampkin. And he scores with the left. Tyler Kolick is a virtuoso. 79-76 Marquette. Simpson brings it into the forecourt. Colorado calls a timeout. Kolick making his return from injury this weekend here in Indianapolis. And for the second straight day, he has a double-double. 21 points, 11 assists. Marquette leads by three, 79-76. Ted Emmerich on the call. David Joplin sealed it with two free throws with seven seconds left. 81-77, Marquette headed to the Sweet 16. For the first time in 11 years, they will take on NC State on Friday in Dallas. Checking round two, the women's tournament. Number one overall seed, South Carolina, 34-0 as the Gamecocks blew out North Carolina by the score of 88-41. to They'll face either Oklahoma or Indiana coming up in the Sweet 16. Duke knocked off a two seed in Ohio State, 75-63, just the second time so far that a lower seed has won in the tournament. Right now, Colorado up on Kansas State, 52 to 42. LSU, a three seed, trails Middle Tennessee, 31 30. That one late in the first half. Don't forget, Westwood won your exclusive home for the women's basketball tournament. Every game from the Sweet 16 all the way through the Final Four in the national championship beginning Friday, March 29th. That is the tournament scoreboard sponsored by CDW and Indel, Intel. CDW and Intel can help you get more from your technology so you can do amazing things. CDW and Intel make amazing happen. Purdue up on Utah State, 49-33 at halftime. We'll rejoin Ted and Austin Crozier in Indy after this. From the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network, this is the Men's Basketball Tournament. The countdown to the 2024 NFL Draft is on Sirius XM NFL Radio. Caleb Williams, is there anything this guy can't do? Beginning April 25th, we're live in Detroit with pick-by-pick coverage of all 32 teams. With the first pick, the Chicago Bears select. You'll hear expert analysis and exclusive interviews with the next generation of stars. I want to be a legend. I want to have a golden jacket. Get ready for the NFL Draft with Sirius XM NFL Radio Channel 88 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. Dude Wipes presents Bathe Your Bum. <clears throat> While TP may appear to clear your rear, it actually leaves behind dry, pilly gifts clinging inside your rump's rounded rift. There's no bigger bummer than a bee crack that's whack. You need extra large wet strength for an effective attack. To fully wash stains, stinkies, crispies, and crumbs, it's time to ditch the dry paper and bathe your bum bum. Your dump dent deserves it so plump and so round. Use wet, flushable Dude Wipes for the best clean pants down. Planning for spring at Lowe's means big savings on outdoor power equipment. And Lowe's knows nothing feels better than free. Buy one select Ego string trimmer, leaf blower, or mower kit. Get one select 56-volt battery free. That's up to a $299 value. 
Power through spring with Ego, the number one rated brand in cordless outdoor power. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid through four three while supplies last. Selection varies by location. The less your business spends, the more margin you keep. But today, everything costs more. So smart businesses are graduating to NetSuite by Oracle. NetSuite is the number one cloud financial system, bringing accounting, financial management, inventory, HR into one proven platform, helping you reduce IT costs, maintenance costs, and manual errors. Over 37,000 companies have already made the move to NetSuite. Now through April 15th, NetSuite is offering a one-of-a-kind flexible financing program. Head to NetSuite.com slash hoops right now. NetSuite.com slash hoops. At the half in the Midwest region, second round, top seed Purdue up 49-33 over Utah State. Ted Emmerich, Austin Crozier with you. Zach Eady, a destroyer of worlds again. 21 points, 11 rebounds, Austin, in the first half. And as a result, he's put Utah State's entire front line in foul trouble, leading to some weird lineups for the Aggies, and Purdue closed the half so well. Yeah, I mean, we talked about it, that this is a commendable performance from Utah State. At one point, it was tied at 24, um, but the foul trouble ultimately caught up to them. Martinez did a great job of knocking down a couple of shots and, and keeping it close, but it just... You know, it just seems like death by a million paper cuts, right? I mean, it's just foul trouble here, offensive rebound here. You know, you're holding on to a lead. Next, they just wear you down as good as anybody. This has been the Wendy's NCAA Tournament Halftime Report. Get a Dave single for just a dollar and a Dave's double for just two bucks with the offers in the Wendy's app. Wendy's, the official hamburger of March Madness. Limited time offer at participating U.S. Wendy's. Redeem in Wendy's app. Account registration required. See offer in Wendy's app for details. The top seed Purdue hoping to advance to Detroit. And the Sweet 16 to play Gonzaga. They lead Utah State 49-33. When we return, we'll have the start of the second half. You're listening to the Men's Basketball Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Progressive presents Renters MVP's Most Valuable Possessions. Today's MVP, Emily Neal's 70-inch TV. Because after watching her second-grade students yell at each other for hours, there's nothing Emily enjoys more than watching super-rich housewives also yell at each other. Why? Because those women are not her responsibility. And that's why her TV is today's MVP. Keep your most valuable possessions protected by bundling your renters and auto insurance with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. You need parts? O'Reilly Auto Parts has parts. Need them fast? We've got fast. No matter what you need, we have thousands of professional parts people doing their part to make sure you have it. Product availability. Just one part that makes O'Reilly stand apart. The professional parts people. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. Great looking uniforms are an expression of teamwork, confidence, and pride. Cintas can help make sure your team is dressed to perform their best every day. We offer workwear and apparel that's comfortable and durable with a modern fit. From work shirts and pants to polos and khakis to Oxfords or t-shirts. And it all comes with weekly laundry service and delivery right to you. To learn more, visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the workday. Running your own business can feel a lot like running a one-person relay race. When you've got to expand your team, share the baton with Indeed. Their all-in-one hiring platform has smart tools to help you attract, screen, and hire quality candidates to your roster. And they don't just help you hire faster. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites, according to a recent Indeed survey. Nix the hassle. Start hiring. Learn more at Indeed.com slash credit to expand your team today. Westwood One presents Great Moments in Tournament History. March 26, 2006, regional finals between top-ranked Connecticut and 11th-seeded George Mason. Jim Laranega's club barely made the tournament, but impressive wins over Michigan State, North Carolina, and Wichita State put them on the verge of history. It took overtime, but the Patriots proved the clock hadn't struck midnight yet for Cinderella. Left side launches, back rim, no good! And in one of the unlikeliest upsets in the history of college basketball, George Mason, a team no one thought would even be in the tournament, has knocked out the number one team, Connecticut, to go to the Final Four. 
the Patriots may have lost in the semifinals to Florida the next week. But George Mason's magical ride through March made for many great moments in tournament history. I'm Kevin Kugler. About set for the start of the second half here in Indianapolis, Purdue and Utah State. Going through their final warm-ups, the top seed, Purdue, a 49-33 over the eight seed, Utah State. Ted Emmerich, Austin Crozier with you. Austin, let's check the halftime stats sponsored by Barbasol. Feeling great starts with a great shave, and great shaves start with Barbasol shaving cream. For whatever your day brings, choose Barbasol. Barbasol, it's a can of can-do. Utah State had a 24-23 lead at the 846 mark of the first half, and Purdue closed the half on an extended 26-9 run. They shot 52% in the first half. And Zach Eady putting up 20 and 10 in the first 20 minutes, 21 points and 11 rebounds. Yeah, you're, again, you're just so happy for Utah State and the way that they played to have a lead at that point in the game. They were hitting shots from everywhere on the floor, but there just seems like a, a sense of inevitability every time Purdue plays where they struggle potentially in that first half. Uh, and they just wear you down. They get you into foul trouble. They get second chance points. They get to the free throw line. They start hitting some shots from the perimeter, and before I know it, a game that you had a lead, you're almost completely out of at halftime. Ian Martinez leads Utah State with 11. He scored all 11 in a row at one point, helping Utah State to that lead. But again, it's Edie with the big game again. Trey Kaufman-Wren got it started with the first eight points. He has 10 to go with four rebounds and two assists. Time for Austin's Keys to the second half, sponsored by NetSuite. Now through April 15th, NetSuite is offering a one-of-a-kind flexible financing program. Head to NetSuite.com slash hoops right now. That's NetSuite.com slash hoops. All right, how does Utah State claw back in it? Well, I, there's no one thing, right? I mean, it's it's really an entire demeanor that we saw them with at the start of this game that really completely disappeared in the second half. Osibor, Isaac Johnson, Khalifa Sacco, the front court uh, for Utah State. They now have 10 fouls between them. They have to be ultra aggressive in guarding Zach Eady for Purdue. It really is just more of the same thing. You've got the size advantage. You know they're in foul trouble. Continue to pound the boards. You have a 12-3 uh, second chance points advantage. You have a 24-8 points in the paint advantage. We have seen this from Purdue all season long. This is where they wear down and dominate teams. And if I'm Coach Painter, I implore my team to do it in the first five minutes of the second half. Before we start the second half, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network, your home for the national championships. Ted Emmerich, Austin Crozier with you here in Indianapolis. Purdue up 49-33 over Utah State. It's time to find out which team will get the job done. The start of the second half is sponsored by Indeed.com. Looking for quality candidates this year? Look no further than Indeed. Indeed's video interview tool takes the hassle out of virtual hiring. Visit Indeed.com slash credits. Winner to play the five seed, Gonzaga in the regional semifinals in Detroit later this week. Purdue up 49-33 over Utah State. Be interesting to see, uh, Danny Sprinkle made the decision to keep Isaac Johnson and Khalifa Sacco out of the game for a majority of that first half, with each with two fouls. The lead got extended, they didn't come back in. You're now down 16 points. Do those guys have the ability to get him back in the game? Well, Johnson starts the second half on the floor for Utah State. Purdue ball shooting to our left. As Smith hooks it to Lance Jones, lob it back to Fletcher Lawyer. Over to Jones, left corner three, book it. Well, Lance Jones ended the first half with a banker from three, and he opens the second half with a triple. It's 52-33. And it's almost unfair when other guys start hitting shots like that from behind the three-point line, the number of assets this team has. And now a steal by Jones behind the back to Braden Smith. And Smith retreats with it back to the midcourt logo. 
Watch by Ian Martinez. Played 40 seconds here in the second half. Purdue up by its largest margin at 19. Smith whirls to the right side of the floor. Post feed, Kaufman ran, and Trey Kaufman ran scores off glass. Yeah, you just you don't like what you're seeing from Utah State here early. They're hanging their heads a little bit. You're not seeing that fire. They gave up two easy baskets and a turnover one time down the floor. You just said it. You want to see in the first five minutes if you're Matt Painter. Five in a row. Isaac Johnson, three-pointer left wing. No for Utah State. Smith, outlet feed. Lance Jones, low bounce pass. Kaufman, win. Two-handed slam. 56-33 Purdue. And Darius Brown, the second, calls a timeout for Utah State. Lance Jones doing jumping jacks in front of us. Crowd making more noise here in Indianapolis as Purdue has scored the first seven points of the second half. Timeout, 18.39 to play. It's Purdue 56, Utah State 33. From the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network, this is the Men's Basketball Tournament. At Charmin, we heard you shouldn't talk about going to the bathroom in public, so we decided to sing about it. When you roll in Charmin, up just south on the party. Charmin Ultra Soft is irresistibly soft and more absorbent, so you can use less. Enjoy the go with Charmin. It's NCAA Championship time. Fans of the hustle, Present. fans of the heart, Present. fans of the flash, grit, and grind. Present. The best fans in the lands are bringing everything they got for their team. Be there when your squad hoists the ultimate trophy overhead. The NCAA championships. Attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Buy your seats today at NCAA.com slash tickets. Class dismissed. Getting ready to take on spring? Make your first move with the reliable performance and power of steel battery tools. From hedge trimmers and mowers to string trimmers and more, right now you can save $50 on select AK System battery tool sets. Real Steel. Find yours at SteelUSA.com. Offer valid on select AK System sets for a limited time only while supplies last. See participating dealer for details. This March, Wendy's has some amazing deals on their hamburgers made with fresh, never frozen beef. Like a juicy Dave single for a buck and a fresh $2 Dave's double with in app offer. It's such a good deal, we wrote a little ditty about it. Get it for a buck. Dave single, Dave single, order in the app. Dave single, Dave single, get it for a buck. Choose wisely, choose Wendy's official hamburger March Madness. Limited time offer, participating U.S. Wendy's. The offer details and redeem the Wendy's app. Account registration required. Fresh beef available in the contiguous U.S. and Alaska. Welcome back to our Granger courtside seats at Gamebridge Fieldhouse in Indianapolis, home of the NBA's Pacers, along with former Pacer great Austin Crozier. I'm Ted Emmerich. For the ones who get it done, there's Granger, offering professional grade products for all industries, fast delivery, and free technical support. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Purdue has come out of the locker room and scored the first seven of the second half, and the lead is now 23 at 56-33. Well, we said that one of the keys originally at the beginning of the game was put teams away when there is that opportunity against Grambling. They didn't do that in the first half, and certainly they jumped out a uh, lead here against the Aggies, but there was a statement here in the first 90 seconds of this game that they're not going to allow the Aggies back in. Utah State ball, front court right, Osibor mid post right, skip it left to Martinez on the corner, false left turns, pass Braden Smith, floater, no, false left, able to follow it, though, on the weak side. 56-35, Purdue. So first points of the second half for Utah State. Smith on the M in Madness at midcourt. Gets a screen from Lawyer. He slants left. Zooms back to the right. Around falls left. Gives it up. Lawyer. Loop it to Lance Jones on the left wing. Up top to Kaufman Wren. And a foul inside. As great Osibor was trying to stick with Zach Eady. And Osibor picks up his second personal. I mean, it's just, again, so demoralizing for a guy like Osibor, who is just fighting every time down the floor. And he was really trying to keep Eady from coming across the lane to the strong side block media is you know he's so big he's so so strong he gets beat up every single time down the floor and for the officials you, you kind of have to watch for that you can't let 
guys get away with things just because he's 7'4", 300 pounds, and I thought that was an easy call for the officials. Camden Heidi left baseline. Lob it to Edie at the elbow. Shuffle it to Lawyer up top against False Lev. Lawyer down the right lane line. Awkward shot. Off balance. Threw it off the window. He's fouled. And that foul is against Isaac Johnson. And Johnson with his third now for Utah State. Were you ever in that position at, at 6'10 in the NBA for 12 years as the first free throw from Lawyer is good, and you're just down low, and you are looking up at... Oh, yeah. I, we, I was matched up on Shaq all the time. The idea being Shaq had to guard me at the three-point line, gets him away from the basket in terms of a shot blocker, uh, and then at the other side of the floor, just try to not let him get deep post position until the double and triple team came. And you're just, after the game, you just want to sleep for two days. 58-35, Purdue, Martinez misses a three right of the circle. Utah State's about to be put to sleep here, early second half. Jones across the timeline, between the legs dribble, against Darius Brown the second, Heidi on the left wing, loop it to Edie, knocked out of his hands, back to the perimeter, swing it around, Coffin rent, short corner right, drives against Johnson, puts it up, no, loose ball, controlled by Osibor. 6'8", 250 pounds, the Mountain West Player of the Year has had the tall task against Edie all day. Leave it for False Lev, now low box right, Osibor against Edie, turning and missed the layup, but a foul called, and Edie is saying, hey, aren't you going to call an offensive foul on Osibor for extending the arm, but instead the foul goes against Purdue. I don't think Edie is going to get a lot of... Uh People feeling sorry for him with the Utah State Aggies as Edie has gotten three players directly into foul trouble and Edie only picking up there his second. Osibor at the line, first free throw good. 58-36 Purdue. Be a VIP with the NCAA experience at the 2024 Men's Basketball Regional Rounds. Score premium March Madness tickets and exclusive hospitality access. A VIP experience for the VIP fan. Visit NCAA.com slash VIP. Osibor second free throw. Good. You'll be the VIP uh, later this week in Los Angeles. I will take it. I like being a VIP. <laughs> for VIP here in Indy. Somebody was stopping you at halftime. Austin, great to see you back in town. This is the only place it happens. Don't let, don't <laughs> let it fool you. Don't, don't think I'm like that everywhere. No, you dropped your name last night. It helped. Pocket pass. <laughs> Smith down low. Kaufman Wren lays it in from the right side. 60 to 37 Purdue. False left hustles into the forecourt right for Utah State. Shut off by Lawyer. Low bounce pass. Osibor. One dribble. Edie lurking. Osibor missed it. Edie all over him. Rebound. Kaufman Wren. Lead pass ahead to Lawyer. Pounds the dribble. Floater. Good from eight feet. 62-37 Boilermakers. Fletcher Lawyer in double figures with 10. And Purdue fans back on their feet again. They have been up and down and up and down all day. Brown down the left lane line for Utah State. He's got Edie on him. Brown backs it out to the corner right in front of his bench. Lob it inside. Osibor fouled by Lawyer. Count it and one. Osibor flips it in and he'll head to the foul line. Osibor, obviously, we mentioned the transfer from Montana State came over with Danny Sprinkle, and he has really improved as a player this year. His minutes have doubled, his production, points, rebounds, everything. Uh, Good to see him get some quality moments and opportunities to score. We mentioned the struggles that he has had against Edie with his running mates. As Isaac Johnson gets the offensive rebound on the Osibor missed free throw, can't get it to fall. It has been a hard night for Osibor and anyone that is primarily charged with trying to slow down Zach Edie. Braden Smith into the front court for Purdue. Out front, Edie screen. Smith darts right, right elbow jumper, got it. Braden Smith was in foul trouble for most of that first half. He buries that at 64-39. Smith with five points to go with three assists. Brown into the left corner for Utah State. 15-35 to play. Osibor one dribble. Handed off to Martinez in the key. Johnson touch it to Brown left wing. Jones fighting through a screen. Brown lob it inside. Edie deflected it. Steal for Purdue. Smith hit by Martinez at midcourt. Oh, but it's a travel. Braden Smith called for the walk and a turnover by Purdue, sending us to an official timeout. 
15-24 to play here in Indianapolis. Purdue 64, Utah State 39. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Texting privacy policy and terms and conditions posted at textplan.us. Texting rules for occurring automated text marketing messages. Message and data rates may apply. Reply stop, opt out. Minimum purchase required. Interest accrues from date of purchase, but is waived if paid within promotional period. Go to windowappointmentnow.com for full offer details. Hey, college hoops fans. It's the best time of year again. And if you're a homeowner, there's more to love than just incredible basketball action. Because right now, you can save hundreds of dollars replacing your old windows and doors with Renewal by Anderson, sponsor of Westwood One's coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament. Right now, save $377 off every window and $777 dollars off every door just text march to 323232 for your free consultation and free price quote on top quality affordable renewal by anderson windows or patio doors for no dollars down no payments and no interest for a year that's right you don't pay a dime like for an button? entire year on, text march to 323232 like right now too. to save 377 dollars off every window and 777 dollars off every door but hurry these big dollar savings won't last long text march to 323232 before the savings madness ends the problem with average underwear? The pinch. The steam. And the sweat. The fix? Duluth Trading Buck Naked Underwear. Get Buck Naked, the most comfortable underwear there is. No pinch, no stink, no sweat. Only at Duluth Trading. Dude Wipes presents Bathe Your Bum. <clears throat> While TP may appear to clear your rear, it actually leaves behind dry, pilly gifts clinging inside your rump's rounded rift. There's no bigger bummer than a bee crack that's whack. You need extra large wet strength for an effective attack. To fully wash stains, stinkies, crispies, and crumbs, it's time to ditch the dry paper and bathe your bum bum. Your dump dent deserves it so plump and so round. Use wet, flushable Dude Wipes for the best clean pants down. You can listen to the live stream of every game of the NCAA Men's Tournament right here on Westwood One, sponsored by Wendy's. Get a Dave single for just a dollar and a Dave's double for just two bucks with the offers in the Wendy's app. Wendy's, the official hamburger of March Madness. Limited time offer at participating U.S. Wendy's. Redeem in Wendy's app. Account registration required. See offer in Wendy's app for details. Ted Emmerich, Austin Crozier with you here in Indianapolis. Top seed Purdue of 64-39 over the eight seed Utah State here in the round of 32. 15-24 remaining. Purdue has put its foot on the gas, and they haven't let up. No, it, this is, again, it's what we've seen from them all season long. I think the external narrative obviously is dictated by the struggles that they have had in the postseason, most notably last year as a one seed losing to a 16, um, and then again losing in the Big Ten uh, semifinals. Was this going to be in the head of Purdue? And, you know, fair or unfair, Purdue has managed that narrative, but I think internally they're focused on themselves, and, and you, you're seeing what this team is capable of. Uh, they, they, again, they just absolutely dismantle you, and they could do it in so many different ways. Martinez whistles left side, and his shot is rejected. Left of the rim by who else? Zach Eady. That's like a dad blocking a shot by a toddler on the Nerf hoop. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly what it looks like. I mean, it is. There are times where guys get around him and find the ability to finish at the rim, but it does not happen very often. And most oftentimes, it discourages discourages you from even trying. Martinez launches a three right of the circle. Edie with the rebound. Did you ever do that with your kids? This, of course, no mercy. Of course, my dad did it to me. I did it to the kids. It's the rite of passage as a parent. <laughs> Jones handles between the circles for Purdue. Whip it left wing for Braden Smith. Guarded by Brown. Screen from Edie. Smith drifts to his right. Low bounce pass. Kaufman ran. Foul called. Nine on the timer. And the foul on Isaac Johnson. The seven footer with his fourth personal foul. Johnson has not scored today after a career high 19 in the first round against TCU. The so-called big fish heads back to the bench. Yeah, a frustrating night for him. Anytime you pick up that second foul early, you know you're going to the sideline for a long time. That's tough. Fletcher Lawyer singes the nets from the left corner. It's a three. 67-39, Purdue, 14-37 to play. 
Balls left, pass left side, kick ball out of bounds. So Utah State keeps it. Left baseline, Brown to put it in play. Fakes a pass. Now throws it into False Left down the right lane line. Lawyer fell down. False Left met by Edie. Oh, that's dangerous. False Left able to leap. Find Osibor. Left of the circle. Three pointer. Dents the front of the rim. Jones tracks down the rebound for Purdue. Braid Smith walks across the timeline. Purdue white jerseys, white shorts, black numbers, old gold trim. Colors you see just about everywhere here in the arena in Indianapolis. Smith left wing. Smith slants into the lane. Oh, blocked by Martinez from behind off the window. Ahead to Osibor. Grew up as a point guard. Now 6'8", 250. Osibor blocked by Edie on the way up. Edie takes it away. Osibor hounding him in the backcourt. Edie finds Fletcher Lawyer. Ahead to Smith. Under 14 to play. 67-39 Purdue. Mid post left. Trey Kaufman ran backing down Khalifa Sacco. Right-handed hook shot. Left it short. Sacco the rebound for Utah State. Ahead to Brown, lob it to full slip, streaming in from the left side, missed the layup. Kaufman Wren pulls it down, ahead to Smith, leave it for Jones, touch it to Lawyer, feet set, thought about it, three-pointer, in and out. And Osibor controls it for Utah State. Osibor walks it up. Utah State trailing 67-39 here in the second round of the NCAA tournament. Osibor backing down Kaufman Wren, high post left, trying to fire a skip pass, deflected, taken by Martinez, bounce it back to Osibor, Kaufman Wren steals it, and a foul called against Utah State. And Osibor with his third. Fans, you can listen to every minute of the NCAA men's tournament on Alexa. Just ask your device to open Westwood One Sports, and you'll be able to select the game you want to hear. Or get access to our March Madness Mix channel, which will take you to the best action at any given moment. That's open Westwood One Sports to listen on Alexa. Another loud ovation from the Purdue fans as Trey Kaufman Wren and Lance Jones head to the bench. And Braden Smith brings it up. Right to left for the Boilermakers. Smith guarded by Brown. Toss it inside. Edie. Quick move around Sacco. Right handed hook is good. 30 point lead for Purdue at 69 39. And you can tell that the Aggies are just, they're hanging their head. A lot of the game plan that they had at the beginning is a little bit out the window. First time we have not seen them double team Edie, and it could not have been any easier. A Duce floater, center of the lane, good. Edie didn't challenge at 69 41 Purdue. It does raise the question how much longer is Edie going to be in this game? I. I don't think it's any longer in doubt. They're up 28 points. Edie wants it again against Sacco, being single covered. Gillis fires a three left wing. Splash! And for the first time this weekend, the sixth man of the year in the Big Ten has scored his first three points of the first two rounds. 72-41 Purdue. Brown, bounce pass, give and go with Osibor, going up against Edie, and he's fouled. Osibor, I just... You gotta love him as a player and his demeanor. Just such a, a, a tough ask of him here tonight, and he has fought the entire time. I love that he's not settling for shots on the perimeter, trying to take it to the body of the big man, Edie. And that has been his personality his entire career. Danny Sprinkle just loves coaching this young man. Osibor hits the first. Today's broadcast of the second round of the 2024 NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network is intended solely for the private, non-commercial use of our audience. Any reproduction, retransmission, or other use of this broadcast without the express written consent of the NCAA and Westwood One is strictly prohibited. You just heard the ovation for Zach Eady, who heads to the bench with 12.07 to go as Osibor sinks the second. It's 72-43 Purdue. Now under 12 to play. Didi with 23 points and 14 rebounds. Post feed, Gillis to Kaufman, Wren tapped out by Osibor. Taken back by Braden Smith on the right wing against Jackson. Roll it into the post, Kaufman, Wren again against Osibor. Up fake, shot no. Camden Heidi from the weak side. And he destroys the rim again. His second dunk today. <laughs> Impressive athleticism by Heidi. I mean, he had to go and get that offensive rebound. 
and still hung in the air and threw it down. Jackson uncorks a three, top of the circle. It's 74-46. Purdue with 11-19 to go. Yeah, boy, we saw it from Heidi in the first round against Grambling. Might be him or Miles Colvin, who actually is the best athlete on the team for Purdue. Smith skips it to Heidi on the left wing. Kaufman Wren wants it. Heidi trying to find him. He dashes to the elbow. Gillis, left wing, eight to shoot. Gillis, right-handed dribble. Hand off Smith. Fumbled it. Picked it up. He's got the big Sacco on him. Smith, drive and kick. Heidi, three-pointer from the right corner is good. 77-46, Purdue. So much of the offense for Purdue goes through Edie. I think these guys sometimes are happy when he's on the sideline. They can actually play without throwing it in the post every time. Martinez right corner for Utah State. Jabs with the right against Heidi. Martinez takes the baseline. Wraparound feet. Sacco two-handed slam. 77-48, Purdue. 10-24 to go. Remember, it was the last few minutes against Grambling when Trey Kaufman ran, went on the scoring spurt. They were feeding him inside with Edie on the bench. Now everyone else can shine, too. Smith right elbow, bounce it to Kaufman Wren, deflected. Kaufman Wren got it. Back at the left elbow. Spin move against Osmore. Oh, lightning quick, and he lays it in. 79-48. Purdue looks the part of a top seed. A Duje free throw line extended left. Dribbles to the right elbow. Back to Sacco, high right. Hand off Jackson, left of the circle. Bounce it to Osipor, mid post left. Skip it right, deflected by Smith, out of bounds. And a timeout. Utah State will keep it with nine to shoot. Breaking the action. Purdue fans right back to their feet, applauding this effort from the number one seed in the Midwest region. Purdue 79, Utah State 48 with 9.42 remaining. You're listening to the Men's Basketball Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Running your own business can feel a lot like running a one-person relay race. When you've got to expand your team, share the baton with Indeed. Their all-in-one hiring platform has smart tools to help you attract, screen, and hire quality candidates to your roster. And they don't just help you hire faster. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites, according to a recent Indeed survey. Nix the hassle. Start hiring. Learn more at Indeed.com slash credit to expand your team today. At Progressive, we know money can buy you happiness, but money did help you buy an RV, which means an excuse from working Saturday with your insufferable co-worker, Dave. So money is helping you listen to birds chirp instead of Dave chirping about how his toddler is fluent in three languages. And it's also why you'll be smelling pine trees in the air, not Dave's tuna melt reheating in a microwave. So save money by bundling your RV or boat insurance with home or auto from Progressive and buy more happiness or something close to it. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states. Great-looking uniforms are an expression of teamwork, confidence, and pride. Cintas can help make sure your team is dressed to perform their best every day. We offer workwear and apparel that's comfortable and durable with a modern fit. From work shirts and pants to polos and khakis to Oxfords or T-shirts. And it all comes with weekly laundry service and delivery right to you. To learn more, visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready. And get ready for the workday. Just Capital is a nonprofit that tracks which companies are a force for good. Companies like Bank of America, which just earned the Just Capital seal. Bank of America is ranked number one for ongoing commitment to their workers with initiatives like Sharing Success, which awarded 97% of their teammates additional compensation, nearly all in stock. This is the program's seventh consecutive year, awarding more than $4.8 billion in total. Visit JustCapital.com to learn how a just business is a better business. Furnished by Just Capital. Time for a scoring recap sponsored by CDW and Intel. CDW and Intel can help you get more from your technology so you can do amazing things. CDW and Intel make amazing happen. Top seed Purdue up 79-48 over Utah State, 9-42 to play. Would you believe that the Aggies actually had a lead with 8-46 remaining in the first half? They were up 24-23. Purdue closed the half on an extended 26-9 run that included 15 points in a row. And here in the second half, Austin, they have outscored Utah State 30-15. to 15. And, and really a, a complete change in their demeanor. You know, I thought that this Aggies team came out exactly 
how you want to against a number one seed with the belief that you are going to give absolutely everything that you've got, that you're going to go down swinging. And I thought that that really changed the last five minutes of the first half and the start of the second. Hopefully the Aggies can play with a little more pride here down the stretch. Four to shoot, inbound to false left, Sacco deep right corner, back to false left, runner from three-point range on the right wing, no. And Camden Heidi fights for the rebound for Purdue. Lawyer into the forecourt and hands it off to Lance Jones. Right between the M and March and the M and Madness in midcourt. Kaufman ran right elbow. One dribble, hand it to Lawyer. Back between the circles, watched by Javon Jackson. Chest pass Gillis. Catch and shoot three off a of curl. Pure. Mason Gillis with his second three of the half. It's 82 48. Again, Gillis didn't even score in the first round win over Grambling State. A Duje out front for Utah State. Sacco high left, handoff false lev. False left darts down the right lane line. Awkward shot. Right hander, no good. Lance Jones pulls it away for Purdue. And Jones gets the call once again from Director of Player Development and Offensive Coordinator PJ Thompson, who has the whiteboard in his right hand. Lawyer off the curl, right elbow jumper is good. I love the whiteboard, by the way. And we asked Matt Painter about it, and he said that it was too loud at Mackey Arena. They couldn't hear the play call. Jones picks the pocket of Jackson, and he's fouled going up. So it was a few years ago when Matt Painter made the switch. He was inspired by what football coaching staffs do, and he decided that a member of his own staff should be the offensive play caller. So P.J. Thompson, former Purdue point guard, now the director of player development, is in charge. Matt Painter trusts him completely to call the play again and again. Well, I think, too, it's it's so difficult, I think, to read how defenses are playing Zach Eady, how they are as the first free throw goes down. So when you notice something as a coach, hey, they're playing from the high side, they're doubling from the weak side, you can put it in a play that works for however he is being guarded, and I think it's a really smart way of doing it. You see that in the NBA a lot with offensive and defensive coordinators. Not necessarily the play calling on the white whiteboard, but one coach in charge of the offense, another of the defense. Jones hit both free throws. It's 86-48 Purdue, 8-15 to play. And Thompson is usually right next to Painter with that whiteboard on the sideline delivering that play. Painter says he can focus on game management as a result. A Duce high left over to Brown, right side for Utah State. Navy blue jersey, silver numbers. Over to the left, corner three from Jackson, off target. Rebound, pops high in the air, and Colvin wins the fight for Purdue. Osiborne and Coffin Wren spill to the floor. Over to Colvin, left wing three on the way. Yes, sir. The shots just continue to fall for the Boilermakers. 89-48 with 7.38 to go. Brown navigates the foul line. Jumper is good for Utah State, and it's 89-50. Purdue shooting 59% from the floor, 9 of 16 from 3. This is the second-best three-point shooting team in the country behind Kentucky. Of course, was knocked out in the first round. Sorry, Mike. Kaufman Wren down low, post feed, knocked away, a Duje. Left to right for Utah State. Jackson in the corner, takes the baseline against Gillis. Banker, no good, followed by a Duje. Missed time to jump, and Purdue has it. Jones into the fourth court. Seven minutes to play. Over to the left corner. Heidi, three-pointer is short. To the baseline. Gillis trying to track it down. He knocks into the table. And what a hustle play. Purdue with a fresh shot clock. Jones up top with Purdue leading by 39. Jones between the legs dribble against false lev. Low dribble against the freshman. Oh, Jones putting on the moves. Leaner gave it up. Corner three for Colvin. Right side at the buzzer. Off the mark. Rebound. Out of bounds. Last touch by Utah State. And we've got a break in the action with 6.32 remaining. It's fate accompli at this point. 89-50. to 50. Top seed Purdue over the eight seed Utah State. 6.32 left. You're listening to the Men's Basketball Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. 
So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Where are my basketball fans at? Welcome to Fandom 101. The NCAA men's hoop season is here, meaning it's time for you to bring a little charisma and chaos for your squad. Be the sixth man in the stand. NCAA Division I men's basketball. Attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Buy your seats today at NCAA.com slash MVP tickets. Class dismissed. Save big during MVP's bonus days at Lowe's with limited time deals on everything you need. Right now, buy one select DeWalt 20 volt max tool. Get one DeWalt 20 volt max power stack battery two pack free, a $179 value. Plus, save $20 on a select bucket of Deck Plus wood screws. Find these deals and more in store and online today. Because Lowe's knows savings, Lowe's knows pros. Valid 318 through 329. While supplies last, selection varies by location. Welcome back to our Granger courtside seats at Gamebridge Fieldhouse in Indianapolis. Along with Austin Crozier, I'm Ted Emmerich. Stay on top of your game with Granger. Get the industrial grade products you need to help keep your operations running when you call 1 800 Granger or click Granger.com. Purdue fans singing Sweet Caroline right now. It kind of feels like the seventh inning stretch. <laughs> like at Fenway. Purdue rolling 689, beg your pardon, to 50. 6.32 to go as Purdue with the huge lead over Utah State. Not surprising, right? I mean, this is what you kind of expect from Purdue and what they have delivered so many times. We mentioned they have four losses on the season. After the first loss, they won seven in a row. The second, eight. The third, nine. After this one, this will be two in a row. Six would make it a national championship. Ethan Morton turns it over. False left, though, could not secure it. Lost out of bounds, and it'll be Purdue ball yet again. And I, I do sense just that, that bit of release, though, from Purdue fans here, making that short trip from West Lafayette after what happened a year ago. Gillis trying to scoop it up in the lane, turned it over. Darius Brown, the second with the steal for Utah State. Shovel it ahead to Martinez. False left, jabs with the right in the corner. And back out to Brown. The midcourt logo against Jones. Brown step back, 20-foot jumper is good for Darius Brown the second. Oh, I don't doubt that there's relief amongst the fans. Absolutely. Uh, it, it's certainly been a, a tough road since last year, and everything good that has happened has happened with the caveat of yes, but for last yep. year. But we said it so many times. I don't. I don't think that this coaching staff with the players on the floor look at it that way at all. Jones airballed a three. He banked in a three at the buzzer to close the first half. Utah State ball. Mason Gillis comes out. Matt Painter has been subbing in each of his key rotation players almost one by one over the last seven minutes. Zach Eady went out with 12 minutes to go. 23 points and 14 rebounds. Logo three. Brown just above the bracket. 30 plus feet away. Wow. 89-55. And, and Brown, the sixth year senior, just a fantastic player. Great offense player. I think 1,700 points in his entire career. Unfortunately, it will end for him here tonight, but he has a lot to be proud of as a player. Camden Heidi down the left edge of the lane against Templin. He scoops it home with a foul. And Purdue has cracked 90 points for the 10th time this year. They're up 91-55. I think it's a safe assumption they're going to get to 100. Well on track with 5.14 to go. 
Stay with us for the Bosch Night Performance Wiper Blades Tournament Postgame Report. We'll check the final stats and you'll hear from a member of the winning team. Uh, that's going to be Purdue. Night vision has evolved. Bosch Night Performance Wiper Blades. Reduce blur and glare to help you drive on stormy nights. Find them at auto retailers near you. Brown wants another three on the left wing and he hits the bullseye. So it's 92-58 with five to play. Brown with 12 points. He had only two in the first half. Jones down the left lane line for Purdue. Blocked by Martinez. He hits the floor and out of bounds to Utah State. So Purdue will match up with Gonzaga, the five seed in the Midwest region in Detroit later this week in the Sweet 16. Brown into the front court for Utah State. Top of the arc, three-pointer, way off line to the left. And out to Purdue. Yeah, to Danny Sprinkle, you know, he doesn't have a whole lot of emotions on the sideline. He is a guy that is not used to not coaching at this point in the game, but there is nothing that you can do. And this team, although frustrated with the position that they are in right now, has a lot to be proud of. They had a tremendous regular season making the tournament first school win in the NCAA tournament since 2001 uh, it, it is hard to go out this way but this is it's just such a great team that they're up against Colvin right wing three for Purdue it's a swish the freshman sticks it 95 58 as Purdue continues to hunt for the century mark Brown lob it ahead to Martinez off his hands out of bounds to the Boilers. You know, you're, you're almost watching the game yesterday, Utah State and TCU, and you're like, Congratulations, you won your first round game. Now you get to play Purdue. <laughs> On a 36 hour turnaround, yes. essentially. Yes, exactly. Ethan Morton has checked in for Lance Jones. Pass to Heidi. Taken away. Josh Aduje. Two-handed jam for Utah State. Now, to be fair, you're kind of saying the same thing about Gonzaga. Congratulations on making it to the Sweet 16. Now you have to play Purdue. Ethan Morton hustles into the front court. Right corner three. Brian Waddell. That's pure. Waddell's first three of the season. The redshirt sophomore who tore his ACL a couple of years ago. Aduce down the right lane line. Layup blocked by Heidi, but a foul. Waddell making his 13th appearance of the year. Averages just a shade under a point per game. Getting action here today. And he hits the three. We've got a timeout. 335 remaining. Purdue 98. Utah State 60. You're listening to the Men's Basketball Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. It's game day at Jim's house, and the spread is impressive. Mike's already done some damage with the hot wings, and now he's dropping back and going deep for another slice of pizza. I sure hope he brought the Pepto. Mike knows the Pepto-Bismol provides fast five-symptom relief from unexpected stomach upsets. He's no rookie. <laughs> the way he's throwing back those nachos, he's the GOAT. Be ready for game day with Pepto-Bismol. When you have nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Use as directed, keep out of reach of children. Drivers who switch and save with Progressive could save hundreds, which could be life-changing. Life I mean, you could put that money towards concert tickets for your daughter to see that singer who sings about painful breakups. And one song will inspire your little beauty to break up with that beast she's dating, Brian. Instead, she'll date someone who's nice and worthy of her love, not someone who addresses you and your spouse as, bro. And it's all because you could save money switching at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Not available in all states. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. You need parts? O'Reilly Auto Parts has parts. Need them fast? We've got fast. No matter what you need, we have thousands of professional parts people doing their part to make sure you have it. Product availability. Just one part that makes O'Reilly stand apart. The professional parts people. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. Great looking uniforms are an expression of teamwork, confidence, and pride. Cintas can help make sure your team is dressed to perform their best every day. We offer workwear and apparel that's comfortable and durable with a modern fit. From work shirts and pants to polos and khakis, to Oxfords or T-shirts. And it all comes with weekly laundry service and delivery right to you. To learn more, visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! 
and get ready for the workday. Download the official NCAA March Madness Live app and you can listen to every Westwood One broadcast of the men's basketball tournament for free. Just look for the headphones icon on any live game. And if you're in the car, it seamlessly integrates with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Get the official NCAA March Madness Live app today. Ted Emmerich, Austin Crozier with you here in Indianapolis. 3.35 remaining in the second round of the NCAA tournament. Top seed Purdue, 98-60 to over the eight seed Utah State, which had a one-point lead with just under nine to play in the first half. Purdue went on a blitz to close the half. They have led this one by as many as 41 and Josh Aduje at the line for two free throws for Utah State out of the timeouts. There's free throw on the way, and it's good. And if, if you're Danny Sprinkle, I mean, what, what do you even say to your team? You know, at, at halftime at this, or excuse me, at timeouts at this stage of the game, you know, you're trying to keep your team positive, try, try and get everything you can to get them to fight down the stretch. You don't want a highlight play after highlight play for Purdue at the other end, but you're in a tough spot. And Brown comes out of the game, given a hug by Danny Sprinkle. Really cool moment with him talking to him on the sideline in a tough way for his career to end. But again, be very proud of his time as a college basketball player. Sixth year senior, spent the last two years with Sprinkle, last season at Montana State, this year at Utah State. Caleb Hurst, low post left for Purdue, knocked out of his hands by Templin, out of bounds, and Purdue ball with seven to shoot. And Brown started his career at Cal State Northridge, spent four years there, had a knee injury, his final season with Northridge, one year at Montana State, and one year at Utah State. And the ovation you just heard was for Camden Heidi, who exits for Purdue with 3.12 to go. First five to shoot on the left wing. First, lob it in. Will Berg, the Swede, turn around over Teplin. Good with the hook shot. And for the third time this season, Purdue has hit 100. 100 to 62. 255 left. Templin, bounce pass. Martinez missed it at the rim. Ethan Morton right to left, near side. Hooks a pass. Colvin rising up for three. And an air ball. Falls left, left to right for Utah State. Right-handed dribble. Hand it to the walk-on. Landon Brenchley dribbled out the first round win against TCU. Kick it to false left. Right wing three. He got it. We look at the pieces coming back next year for Danny Sprinker. False left, one to be very excited about. Great shooter. Very athletic. And fearless, yeah, too. He really is. And especially in the first He's round win. He's a freshman, right? Redshirt freshman. Yeah. Pass down low. Will Berg is fouled. With 2.16 remaining. You can listen to Westwood One's exclusive coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament for free on the Varsity Network app. Listen to every game, live or on demand. Download the Varsity Network app now and search NCAA Championships. So Berg, the other seven-footer on the roster, he's 7-2. Even Zach Eady dwarfs him in practice. Is at the line. Miles Colvin heads out. Another standing ovation from Purdue fans. Ethan Morton heading out as well. The senior, who was a starter for most of last year, came in late in this game. And Berg hits the first free throw, the front end of one and one. But how about for Berg? You know, your job every day is likely to just guard Zach Eady. Yep. Just, just bang up against this maple tree here every day in practice. It certainly plays a role, and good for him to get into this game. He makes the second free throw, and he has four points. Now Berg is next in line. The seven-footers at Purdue is like a conveyor belt. Jackson missed the jumper from the left elbow. It's volleyballed around in front of the rim, and Berg wins the battle. Get it to Carson Barrett. The senior hit a three late against Grambling in the first round. Barrett trying to feed the post. Templin knocked it away. Steal by Brenchley to walk on. Brenchley lops it inside to Jackson. Grant over to Templin. Left wing three on the way. Too strong. And Berg pulls in another rebound. 137 to go. 102-65 Purdue. Chase Martin 
His dad, Conzo, former Boiler, former head coach at Missouri, Cal, Tennessee. Whip around feed. Barrett lines it up. Right wing three. Oh, in and out. That was halfway down. Almost had his second three of the tournament. In transition, left to right. Templin hit by Barrett. Layup in and out, but a foul call. 1.15 to go. 102.65 Purdue. A few Purdue fans have left. Not many, no. I would say, Austin. And one notable now fan who is in attendance here today, the legendary Gene Cady, as Templin hits the first free throw, of course. Matt Painter's mentor, the Hall of Famer, 87 years young here in the arena. And I, saw, I saw in the stats, seven-time Big Ten Coach of the Year. Matt Painter tied for second, five-time Big Ten Coach of the Year. Do you think he ends up passing him? Yeah, the way Painter's going, now 19 years in. I wish the head man wouldn't put it past Every him, right? time I'm around him, I talk to Matt Painter. I am impressed with his basketball knowledge and his passion for the game, and I don't see him slowing down anytime soon. Bird mid post left, backing down with a minute to go. 102-67 Purdue. Waddell down the center of the lane. Defender fell down. Push shot is good off the turnaround for Waddell, whose dad Matt was a teammate of Matt Painter at Purdue in the mid 90s. Matt scored a thousand plus career points, and now Brian getting action in the NCAA tournament scoring. Brenchley down the left side of the lane for Utah State. Floater no good. Berg rips down the rebound. 35 seconds left. Chase Martin to the forecourt for Purdue. As the fans all rise to their feet again, wearing black and old gold. Martin, floater off glass. No offensive rebound. Sam King off the window. His first made shot from the floor this season. Six total points on the year. Brenchley left wing three. Air ball, 13 seconds. Burke the rebound. Chase Martin dribbles it up the floor as the Purdue fans applaud. Four seconds, three seconds, two, and one. And this redemption road for Purdue rolls on to Detroit for the fifth time in the last seven NCAA tournaments. The Purdue Boilermakers are on their way to the Sweet 16. 106, 67, as Purdue leaves no doubt against Utah State here in Indianapolis. Just another big time performance. We have seen it from Purdue all season long. The questions, obviously, that are in the heads of so many people, I think in a lot of ways have been answered. This team plays with so much confidence. We mentioned the need to put teams away when you have the opportunity. It was close for 10 minutes in the first half, and then just a dominant performance putting them away. So much, so many positives you could say about Purdue. They've got Gonzaga in their next game. And I just don't see anyone slowing them down uh, when they are playing like this. When Edie's the dominant force down low, you combine that with the shots that they are hitting from the perimeter. We mentioned the adjustments that have been made, the additions that have been made to their style of play, better three-point shooting team, and I think overall a better team than last season. 106-67, Purdue, Wallops, Utah State. Joining us courtside now, Trey Kaufman-Wren after the second round victory. Ted and Austin here with you. Trey, congratulations on the victory. You got this thing started with the eight early points. What allowed you to get rolling? Um, they just give so much help to Zach. You know, obviously he's national player of the year last year. He's probably going to be it again this year. And when you send so many people to help, rebound responsibilities, um, it's tough to block me out with one guy. And then when you send, you know, my man to help on Z, you know, I just kind of get to get all the offensive rebounds, so that helped. I think you're being too humble. You played a great job on your own. number of those moves were one-on-one. -on -one. You finished really strong. Uh, your team in that first half, however, you did find